So what 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 I'm hearing from you then, yeah, um, the goalkeeper is not doing his job. No, keeper's there, but you're one on one. Like you've got it, the whole it, goal. It doesn't matter. You've got the whole goal. What's the goalkeeper in the goal to do? He's there. He's a mannequin, bro. When you're one on one, the keeper turns into a mannequin. You see, so straight away your perception is wrong because the goalkeeper's doing his job. But I feel like the odds are in favour. Why? Because you've got so much space. Like one on one, you got more time than like when people are around you. It's an easier chance than having to bury it from forty yards Boys. top bins. PK is arguing with Andy Cole about one-on-ones. I know. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on him? <laughs> He's not even a striker. Only on Filthy. Boys, we don't do guests often on this show. It's rare. When we do, for some reason, they're Champions League winners. <laughs> and they've all been different Champions Leagues, by the way. That's true as well. How do, how do we top this though? I think setting guest bars too high is actually dangerous. Because we can't just bring on like... Joe Bloggs. Joe Bloggs, he's not a real player. So let's say a real player. Macaulay Langstaff. Uh, Luke Chadwick. Now, Luke, did Luke Chadwick win the Champions League? No, that's the guy from Black Panther, no? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't, don't. Don't, don't, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I was starting early. <laughs> don't think really about it, though. But anyway, it is obviously an honour, again, to welcome one of the greatest strikers of all time, Andy Cole, to Phil Fear 5. Nice one, man. Bless you. Before we start, are you aware of the show? Because we ask mad stuff. Oh yeah? That's calm, no. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right then, let's cook. Don't mean I've got to answer them, but <laughs> <laughs> you have the right to remain silent, of course, all the time. Uh for anyone who's not familiar with Andy Cole, you're talking about a man who uh smashed scoring records for Newcastle United, moved to Manchester United in their most successful era, won title after title, Champions League, then top scored for what, Blackburn, top scored for City. Um, ended up playing with some of the biggest players in the world ever and she actually played for a lot of and played with a lot of big managers uh, in his time but I guess when being here we're probably more interested in the random stuff Man United is it's a lot of Man United Muggs is here literally Muggs that, your Muggs is zero he, he thinks you know <laughs> Come on, King. You know what it is already. But you know what? I I was doing some research on you. Can I do um? You don't know ball challenge? Yeah, go on then. Yeah, go on. You don't know ball challenge, and this goes to Jordy. Okay. Name me every team. Every team. Every team that Andy Cole played for. I need I need your help. No, no, I'm you not, can't I'm say no, 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 no. <laughs> I need your help. You could do a few. Ah, oh, well, uh, cool. Knotts, Nottingham, Forest, Blackburn, Fulham, City, Sunderland, Newcastle, Ooh, Man almost, United, Arsenal. Dead. No, Bristol. There's one more. Wow. Burnley. There's How old one. are you, Jordy? I've got to be. This don't make sense. Bro. Football you're manager, age, boy. You're Asian, your football manager. I've got to be done, though. I've got to be done. Nah, there's one more. One more, one more. Played in the Prem, though. Portsmouth. Yes. Oh, I'm a bad boy. <laughs> I'm a bad boy. <laughs> Congratulations, Jordy. Thank you, man. You, you know the answer to the question. How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> nah, this is a serious question, bro. Honestly? Yeah. I'm 95, baby. Honestly. You are born in 1995? Yeah. 1997, 96, 95. That's two years older than me. Yeah. Bro, I was yeah, but you don't know ball. Huh? I know ball, but bro, like, it was black and white. When I was watching, it was black and white, bro. <laughs> I got vague memories. Yeah, I'm 95. 95? Yeah, man. That's when I moved to Man United. 95. Is it? Yeah. yeah, that's when I was born. That's how we supposed to get me. It happened. Just how it happened. It was a good year, man. <laughs> it was a good year. But obviously, I chill with, I chill with. My man over here, he might be older than you. You don't know Ball Challenge, 1995. Who won the Premier League, PK? I was, I was born in 1997, bro. Don't ask me about questions before. <laughs> I, don't ask me questions about before I was born, bro. Like, no, I'm joking, I'm joking. You know the answer. Of course, it was Blackburn. Of course, the, yeah, of course. You don't know Ball Challenge. When did the Premier League start? All right, but what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a real question, right? Because we were we were researching you, and obviously, mainly like that's where all the success comes. Well, most of the success. Is that your favourite place you played? Honestly. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah, percent. It's, it's a club I supported when I was younger. So yeah, oh, was 100%, it? Yeah. Because I see you talk about Newcastle. Like Newcastle was a, like a serious place. Yeah, no, Newcastle for, for me is like it's a place that I, I enjoyed. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I enjoyed playing my football there. Um, 
because it was kind of like when I was playing there, I was, I was just enjoying myself. There was no pressure, and I mean literally Lads, no pressure whatsoever. We, we, we've been Newcastle. He had an amazing oh, wow. time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he loved Newcastle, yeah, bro. Yeah. I mean, so, so to play football there and obviously in front of the fans and that, yeah, it's a real special place to play football. Mm. Definitely. And obviously Kevin Keegan. Yeah, yeah. I, I think for me, when I was there playing under Kevin, it was, it was even easier because Kevin was a centre forward and he thought like a centre forward. I mean, he wasn't too bothered about defending. So, as a centre forward, I'm thinking about well. Did you have beef though? Yeah, it, no. I, for me, I, I wouldn't say it was a beef. But you was flying, and then he got rid of you like six months later. That's ridiculous. Something had to happen. What happened? Well, me, me and him had, had words. I mean, but in, in, in football, you, you're always gonna have words with people. But it depends what you are as an individual. I'm, I, I mean, me personally, I, I don't, I don't really mind falling out with people. I mean, that, that's just the way I'm built. But if I'm going to speak my mind, because everyone knows I'm quiet, so when I do speak, I've got to get something off my chest. Otherwise, things don't really bother me. Just let things go over my head. If it wasn't Man United you was going to, and it was a different team, do you think you would have fought to stay at Newcastle a bit longer? I wouldn't have gone. Because I, I always say I only want to leave Newcastle to go to Man United. Because for me then, you know, Newcastle, crest of a wave, Newcastle spending money and bringing in real good players. And they look like they're going to compete then. So for me to leave to go anywhere else, it, for me, didn't really spell sense. So was you playing under like Gutierrez? What? Who? That's Gutierrez. Like Fifteen years before that. I swear. Gutierrez. <laughs> Look, Jonas Gutierrez. Yeah. Jesus. See that now, yeah. That the money's the money's gone crazy now, innit? it? Yeah. Obviously, like the transfer fees and shit, yeah. But you still broke a transfer a British transfer record, innit? Mm. So obviously it's different piece. But at the time, is it still that like, is it still like a mad thing like that seven million? Was that that like, crazy? When I went for six million pound in ninety five, yeah, it was a hell of a lot of money. Six million. I mean, so when that. you see a man going for a hundred mil now, it's, everything's relevant to where football is at. Did you play with that pressure? Like to say, you're right, they just spent all this money. Out. As as you know, you look at Man United in the media. Yeah, Man United don't even need to be winning things. Yeah, and everyone still talks about Man United. Teams that are winning things don't get spoke about like Man United get spoke about. So mm -hmm. it's the biggest club in England by far, regardless of what anyone says. Biggest club by far, possibly the biggest club in the world. So whoever goes to Man United will get spoken about regardless how much it costs or how you're doing, whatever, you're always going to get spoken about. So when I moved, yeah, yeah it, it was non-stop. And I mean, it was absolutely non-stop. But how does that feel? Like, everybody knows and everyone speaks about Man United, but you was a part of that legacy. Like, you was you helped build that legacy. Well, I, but I wouldn't say I helped build, build that legacy. I'll say I, I mean, yeah, I, yeah, come on, come on. <laughs> Man, you was a part of some great teams. That yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, was, I was a small cog. In a, in a big component, you know? I read a lot of like Man United players in that era's books, right? And I, they would always talk about when the new guy would show up in training and everyone in the United team was like, we are sticking the ball as fast as possible to his feet. We are testing every single part of his game to see if he's actually as good as they say he is. Did you feel that pressure when you, that first training session? Yeah, well, of course I did, yeah. It, it, I mean, it, it, it didn't make any, um, I had a few problems when I first went as well, because I had no boots. <laughs> so you, you imagine turning up for your first uh, Man United train at Old Trafford, you got no boots. I mean, that's mad. Or you playing socks? I, have, I nearly had to play my socks. Yeah, and everyone's basically laughing at me, you know? <laughs> so yeah, that, that was a peaky thing because the, the deal was done so fast, I, I didn't get a chance to go pick my boots up from Newcastle or anything like that. The deal was just done. That's mad. Went the day after, well, went down to Manchester that evening. The deal was done that morning. Trained the day after. And like, where's your boots, Coley? Well, I've not got any boots. I didn't have time to pick them up. So, I mean, at the time I was, I was sponsored by a certain company. I had to train in another company's boots. Oh, really? And there would have been pictures in the papers and everything. Yeah, that's long. Was was that transfer done on the last day of transfer deadline day? Or no, there was, there was no deadline day in then times. What? There was no deadline day. So you can do it. So like you can do a transfer anytime during the season. That, yeah. That was Swear Alex Ferguson's that. favorite thing. Alex Ferguson just used to go, do you know what? I need to win the league. Come. He's on the purple patch. Come that's in. mad. Imagine that. <laughs> that's mad. Imagine you could that do that now. That is crazy. That is crazy. That's a free throw. That's basically Royal Rumble, bro. That's a free throw. That's roll on, roll on subs, roll on But you're, you're arriving to like a main United team. Class of 92's getting in there. A few of them mm -hmm. on first team. A few of them are coming up. But Roy Keane's there. It's a young Roy Keane, but it's still a Roy Keane that's, like, in my head, he's still the guy who's telling everyone what and where. In my mind, you've always been a player that's, like, quite analytical, not necessarily going to step out and be like, right, I'm I'm here, I'm in control. You'll wait, see where everyone stands. 
did you figure out that dressing room quickly? Was it because there's a few there's that like McClare, there's older players in there as well. Did you did you understand the the dynamics of that training? Yeah, yeah. I, I think when you go to any club, you understand understand the dynamic straight away. I mean, like I said, I look, I sit and observe. I mean, people who talk a lot don't learn. I mean, I sit, observe, weigh things up. I'm saying. You go from there. That, that, that's that's me as a person, though. Yeah. That's me in life. That's how it felt. It felt like saying. you were like a a cold killer. Like, not too much talking. Not even on the pitch, not too much talking. That, there's, there's nothing to talk about. Do you feel like you struggled a bit when you first went United? Yeah, 100%. 100% because what people fail to understand as well, yeah. I, I, left, I left Arsenal. Oh, why? <laughs> <laughs> then I went to Bristol City and I spent... I think it was six six months, six, seven months at Bristol City, yeah? Then I went to Newcastle, yeah? I spent three months at Newcastle, then got promoted to the Premier League. So this all happened in a year and a half, yeah? So by the time I realised, a year and a half, I'm playing in the Premier League, then I moved to Man United. So it's, it's not as if I, I was in the Premier League for like two, three years or anything, or, or playing them was League One. I mean, this all happened, like I said, in about a year and a half. And then all of a sudden I'm playing for Man United and the fee's gone to six million. I, I left Arsenal 18 months later for 500 grand. Jesus. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. You know, so that, that's how quick it turned around for me. So when people say you struck, yeah, I, I, I did do because I was actually playing Bristol City just balling. I mean, that's all I was doing. I was just getting my head down. I'm going to prove everyone wrong at Arsenal, just do what I've got to do. When the move come to Newcastle, like, I'll be honest, I wasn't even going to go to Newcastle. I'm not going to lie. I made my mind, I said, no, nah, it's too far up north, I'm not going. And I remember speaking to um, Lee Clark, and Clark said to me, Coley, nah, come man, if you score goals, I absolutely love you. And I kept saying to Clarky, Clarky, do you know how far it is? <laughs> and that's, that's <laughs> all I was saying. <laughs> I mean, that's all I was saying. I, I meant, and Clark just said to me, oh, Coley, just come, because we were big mates. He said, just come, I'll look after you. So I, but I signed on the premise of him saying to me, look, come, you score goals and I'll look after you. Like, Speaking to Kevin Keegan as well, yeah, of course, but I, I knew then that I know Clark is going to look after me. I'm the only one up there, yeah. I'm a black man as well, yeah, and I'm going to be on my J's, but Clark said, nah, just come, just come. I went up there and I absolutely smashed it, but I smashed it in a good team. Were you 42? Uh, in, in the Premier League, 34, yeah. 34, yeah. You got 13 assists that year as well. Yeah. Hey, I know, I know, listen, I know why I've gone. You know what it is though, let me tell you, yeah, what I've always wanted to know, yeah, because you've done all them goals, yeah, you don't take pennies. No. How, why, first, not even how, why don't you take pennies? Because if you score all them goals, you can bat up anyone for a penny. If you want it, they're going to give it to you. Yeah, Do yeah, you 100%. not rate yourself or are you not having yourself on pens? No, my mentality was if I couldn't score goals in open play, I'm not good enough. <laughs> man said, man said, man said, you lot have the pens, man. Yeah, man, I have the tap. But you was scoring the goals in open play. Yeah. So then why don't take the extra ones when they come then? Because I'm scoring goals in open play. So I'm actually <laughs> saying to myself, I can continue to do this. Let, can let Cantona have the cheap goals. Yeah. yeah I, I, <laughs> I, 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 never, I never want to take penalties. I mean, when I was a kid, yeah, I used to take penalties. But then I'm saying to myself, the higher you go up, yeah, if you can't score goals in open play, this is me thinking. Yeah, I'm not good enough. What was the pressure like back then? Just signed for Manchester United. You've missed a chance now against West Ham in the final game of the season. And then you don't win the league, goes to Blackburn. What type of pressure do you have to sort of like deal with at that present moment in time? Because it's not social media. It's not like people are tweeting things and saying things at the time. It's just kind of in-house. What was it like at the club? Is it a different type of pressure? Yeah, it's, it's, it's always a different uh, kind of pressure, but it all depends on how, what do you quantify and miss? I mean, like a one on one. Like I remember, I remember that West Ham game as a kid, and I'm a very young kid. That West Ham game, be, be, the country being like, yeah, right. Andy Cole lost the title for yeah. United. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. But like I said, how how do you quantify a miss? What what is a miss? Well, yeah, hundred percent. Uh, easy chance, isn't it? I what, say, so what, what's an a easy one chance? One on one, one on one. You have to bury a one on one. If you're you have one -on -one, to, you have to. Okay, for then. me as a player, <laughs> <laughs> with sixty thousand, if I miss a one on one, like bro, is, I'm haunted. Like yeah, I'm haunted. Like I feel like I'm I'm done. So what 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 I'm hearing from you then, yeah, um, the goalkeeper is not doing his job. No, keeper's there, but you're one-on-one. -on -one, like, you've got it, the whole it, goal. It doesn't matter. You've you, got you the can, whole goal. What's the goalkeeper in the goal to do? He's there. He's a mannequin, bro. When you're one-on-one, -on -one, no, the keeper huh. turns into a mannequin. You see, so straight away, your perception is wrong because the goalkeeper's doing his job. But I feel like the odds are in favour. Why? Because you've got so much space. Like, one-on-one, -on -one, you've got more time than, like, when people are around you. It's, 
is an easier chance than having to bury it from 40 yards Boys, top bins. PK is arguing with Andy Cole about one on one. I know. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? He's not even a striker. Only on filthy. PK is arguing with the Champions League winning you now. So yeah, you think a one on one's a hard chance then? You like? Are you telling me? No, I'm asking you. I'm asking you. I you know one on one's a difficult chance. Yeah, okay. I know it's a difficult <laughs> chance. Uh, you, I think, you, I think remember, he's an easy chance. You, you don't play against the same goalkeepers he plays yeah. against either, by the way. <laughs> you play against keepers that had a drink before the game. How many <laughs> games of football have you seen when individuals get a one-on-one and the goalkeeper makes a save? Loads. Loads. So how's it an easy chance? Yeah, yeah. He's not even a striker, by the way. <laughs> I don't even score goals as well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't score goals. But, but perception is, yeah, that oh, it's an easy chance or you got to score or whatever. I mean, I, I sit down and watch football now. And be, oh, he's got to score from there. What? So, why is it called a goalkeeper? Because basically, if a goalkeeper makes a uh, makes a save, we're disrespecting the goalkeeper by saying, "Oh, he's terrible! He's missed a chance." No, but the goalkeeper's there to do a job, but you're there to put the ball in the exactly. bag as well, and you play and you do it to a certain level, so the expectations of you are higher. There you go. So your odds, yeah, when you're one on one, fifty fifty. Ah, nah, it's 70 30. No, because <laughs> <laughs> you got you got like nine things you can do. You can round the keeper. In what time? No, no, not, three not seconds. every time. <laughs> three seconds. Three seconds. In three seconds, you've got nine things that oh, you can do. Yeah, okay. you, like, you see when I'm one on one, I'm, the keeper's coming out to me. I'm thinking, bro, right now, I can either round you, go around you, I can fake shot you, I can do bad things to you, bro. You're, 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 you're in a chiz. Keepers you, in you trouble. You've got bad time, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fast, though, so when I'm gone, I'm gone. People are still on the halfway line, I'm on the edge of the box, bro. I'm gone. I'm gone with the win. Can I ask another question? What United striker would you have wanted to play with like, after you? That that's 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 been there since. What's what striker would you want to play with? I I think what Wes has been brilliant. Rooney. Yeah, yeah Wes has been brilliant. Was the awesome. But everyone else is a one up top, isn't it? Rooney off of Cole would have been, been ten Cole. Okay, okay. Do you think do you think yeah you could play in today up top by yourself or would you be one of them or coming off the left or when I was playing we used to call that the graveyard shift. Mm. What playing on the left? No, playing up front top by yourself. Oh, by yourself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Graveyard shift. That that was that's hard. four five yeah, one it's though. Hard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it, it was them times. You know what I mean? Because you, you didn't have the, the two wide guys coming. No, they were deep. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it was usually one up front by yourself, and that was long. I'm saying because the spot of the two wide men coming in, it, it wasn't like that. It was like four five one. Uh, today it's different. You know, you, you got the wide men coming in, but. To play as a centre forward now, I, I, I watch football all the time now. I turn around and say to myself, or me and Yorkie have a chat about it. He said, Cole, you score about 50 goals now. Yeah. <laughs> because defending is, is not, not what it used to be. Yeah. But if you look at centre forwards, they never, ever, ever run in behind. You watch football properly, no centre forward runs it. The only centre forward who runs in behind is Vardy. Vardy, yeah. Mm. Mm. Everybody else is feet, 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 feet. Yeah. They've got to have three passes on and a shot. Take receive the ball. Why? Yeah, I mean, there's 20 yards of space in behind, and yeah. people want it feet. But I just run in behind all day long. Yeah, <laughs> because no one wants to run in behind. Center offs. When you play against center off, they don't want to run towards their own goal. They want all in front, all in front. I mean, that and that's how much the game's changed as well. So defending's changed. What defenders were you coming up against? Where you were like, okay, yeah, this is the longest possible day I could have. When you're at that level, they're all long days, and that, that's how good they were then. Um, also, back four was really strong. There was not one individual you thought against this guy is going to nah. be a tough day. They're like. all tough. Because when you're at that level, they're all tough. But you're never going with a defeated attitude saying, oh, puff. All right, cool. Who did you think was an uh, easy day? <laughs> <laughs> they're not easy. Because even, even the... Even the Ipswich game. Even, even, no, even the players that you might think, yeah, I, I might nick off a chance today. I mean, they raised their level. They're playing against Man United. Or when I was at Newcastle or, or wherever, it, everyone raises their level. I mean, especially when I'm playing and I'm playing against certain individuals, they raise their level due to the fact that they're playing against me. Mm. And saying, right, if, if I can keep him quiet or what, he doesn't score today, yeah, man's done his job. Did you feel the different levels between like the Prem, playing on like on the Premier, then when you went to the Champions League? 100%. You could, like, it's a complete different level. 100%. Complete different. What was the best, like, most memorable game in Champions League as a fan? Football, it was that Barcelona game when you and Dwight York were just on one. Yeah, that, 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 one, that one was a hard game still. Yeah. But for me, Juventus, Turin. What was said at half time? Because when, once Roy Keane gets the yellow card and you realise he's missing the final, what is said at half time to even like motivate you lot to get that win? No, we, we just believed that we could go on to win the game. So the, the manager didn't really say too much, you know. Basically, much of the same. Serious? Yeah. 
Who did say something? What did Roy Keane say? What did Beckham say? Did, did anyone? What did Gary Neville say? Oh, we we was like, we can actually win this game. Our, our, our motivation was, you know, when we went two 0 down after I think it was twenty minutes, if that, yeah. Skip gets he gets the header. We go two one up. I mean two one down. Sorry, you know. Um, Yuki gets the other one. We get to two two. I mean go, going at half time. In the end, our focus was so strong about getting to the final. The manager really didn't have to say too much. Because we're in the ascendancy then, yeah. you know. Um, come out second half, and it, it was one of those games that, you know, we were men possessed. We we genuinely believed that we had more than enough to to beat them, uh, physically, mentally, you know. And that's what we did. We in India, we, we overpowered them. You and Sharon and fell out in 1995 when you didn't even play for the same team, and then eventually you end up playing for the same United team that goes on and wins the treble. Now, we always hear about team spirit and how the team has to be united. Like with Arsenal right now, everyone's friends and they get along and so on and so forth. But you genuinely was playing up front occasionally with someone that you didn't talk to. Oh, when he didn't shake your hand, was that before you were at United? Yeah, yeah, 1995, yeah. Okay. right? The same year Jordy was born. So it was a, uh, almost a great year. That wasn't the best thing in the year. But, um, <laughs> Is it rare to have a teammate that is just like, no, we're just not cool with each other? I, I look, it's like a nine to five. You, you can't get on well with everybody. No. You can't, yeah? So football is the same thing. You can't get on well with everybody, but once you cross the white line, you all want the same thing. Yeah. You want to win. So regardless if I talk to a man or I do talk to a man, yeah, I want the same thing. You know. So for me, when when that happened, yeah, I, I was embarrassed. And I, I was going to make my England debut, and, uh, and he done that. I, I, was, I was so embarrassed. And what exactly did he do? He just walked off the field. He went and to shake his hand, and he just, he just yeah, and he just him. snubbed me on on the line. And like I said, that was my England debut. Yeah, and I, I was I, I was real upset. In fact, more than upset, man was vexed. Yeah, <laughs> um, I remember when I, I got in the, the squad when we went to uh, England play San Marino, and I was with the 21s, you know. And then um, Lauren McMinnemy pulled me and said, "Look, Coley, um, uh, you have to go." So I was like, "What do you mean I have to go?" He said, um, "You've been pulled up to uh, the senior squad." So I went to the senior squad and I just locked myself in my room. Yeah, and then I heard bang, bang, bang on the door. It must have been about five of them said, right, come on, out you come. Yeah, we look after you, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. And I, I said to myself, raw, is this how you get treated? Yeah, people looking after you straight away, you know what I mean? Like, Who was I'm the not, people that came to look after you? Uh, Des, Carlton Palmer. Jeez. Mm. Mm. Makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> 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 makes sense. <laughs> yeah, man, come true. My debut, I mean, Uruguay coming on, looking forward to coming on, making my debut in that. I mean, because my, my, my debut was, was a proper long thing. I should have made my debut before I made my debut. It, it, it was one of those ones. Um, I had a few injuries. Well, I wasn't even injured, but I was injured. You know, I was still playing for Newcastle, but ju I just wasn't training. He was doing the Lady King before Lady King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, so like I said, when I finally got in and, and, and made my debut, I always say to people who ask me, it's the worst debut anyone could have had. You know what I mean? Because Teddy was a senior pro then, you know. Um, regular for England and then to make your debut and like someone to snub you on the line like that is, is someone that could scar a man for life mm. was there a lot of you politics know? of your England career oh yeah bit of politics because you should you like, what you got like 15 caps or something yeah yeah bit of politics there was a there was a dope pool of strikers but I swear you're probably better than most of them though there was a Shera, Fala, Sheringham, Sheringham, Wrighty was there, Wrighty, Wrighty. Les Ferdinand. Les. There was a there was a big crop, but you was Chris. You, you was doing you was doing, doing big. Chris yeah, I, I was I was I was banging big goals in, and ultimately that's that's what it's supposed to be about. Because when I was growing up watching a national team play, regardless of whatever team you play for, you don't always have the opportunity to play. But then England, if you look, notice England over the years have become much of a club feel. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So the manager might pick a man who's not playing, but the manager likes him. Yeah. So the man who's playing well for his respective club is not going to play because the manager likes this man here. And you turn around and say to yourself, well, is that actually better for the national team or worse for the national team? He can't be better. But then what about when someone like Harry Maguire gets picked by Southgate and he's in bad form for United, but then the manager trusts him, he goes to the tournaments, have dope tournaments, he's our best defender. What about that then? And that's, that's what I'm saying. You know, so it's, it's all, that's where politics comes into it. I mean, because it's a manager's perception. Wouldn't do it with a striker, by the way. Yeah, because it's a whole different no, situation. Striker, they're going to go with the goals nowadays. Specs is uh, arriving here to Sorry, sit next to Andy Cole. Um, we, on the Sheringham thing, I remember reading a thing and they said, because I remember reading, oh, um, obviously everyone knew that there was tension between you and Sheringham. I just thought you were just never destined to be friends. It's just two, 
the personalities didn't match. And then I read uh, in Tony Cascarino's book, he said Teddy Sheringham's dad is a policeman. Oh no! And and basically, fifty percent of people just don't like him off the rip because oh. he's he's like a policeman. Oh my! And I, from that day, I thought I kind of I get Makes it. Sense. It just it's like that. I would struggle to be friends with someone with that like born policeman kind of mentality. That's poet, isn't it? That's like poet, yeah. It's <laughs> 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 all that born <laughs> policeman mentality. <laughs> Yeah, but anyway, man. Teddy Sheridan was a big character. I remember watching him in the Tottenham ground. He pulled up in his Ferrari Spider. I walked past everyone. Didn't say nothing to no one. It's a fed, isn't he? He's a fed. He's a fed. Great player, though. He's a fed. That's the one. That's, 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 the, that's it now. Did that's you enjoy that. playing with him, though? Teddy was a very good player. Great player. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to sit and say, oh, man's this, man. No, nah, no. Nah. You know he was better than him, though. I'm, I'm straight down the line. I'm, I shoot straight down the line, man. But then, so when you. Obviously, you was playing with him United like, before before Yuki come. But then when Yuki come, you got clicked and it was cold, yeah? Is that. Is that more of Yuki coming, or is that because you've had the three, four seasons there to acclimatize to the Prem now? Is that why you started banging? You know, it, you you know what what it is with with me and Dwight we're, we're opposites, and I mean polar opposites. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I agree. <laughs> you got a striker there. Yeah. His face yeah. don't change. His focus, and this guy's just laughing, joking. Because we understand each other. It's the same culture. I mean, we understand each and other's people and our, our culture is exactly the same. Regardless, if he's from TNT and my people are Jamaican, whatever, we understand each and other. Did I'm you saying. did you know him before he came to Man United? Like vaguely. So if we if we was on a night out, I see York. Is yeah, what's up, bro? You good? And that's, that's it. it. Keep yeah, it moving. Yeah, yeah. That's a serious night out, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> With York, anyway. When he come to Man United, naturally it changed. You yeah, know, we changed and we, we had a great relationship on the football pitch. We got on really well off the football pitch as well. That makes things a lot easier. How rude was it when Alex Ferguson said, I'm going to have York and Cole and Sheringham mm -hmm. and Solskjaer. Mm -hmm. That must have felt like we can't lose games now. <laughs> you know, the, 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 the maddest thing about that, I, I wasn't even supposed to be there. Um, the, the manager brought York in and then, then he tried to bring uh, Patrick in, Patrick Cliver. Oh yeah, I remember that. I mean, so so Pat ended up going to uh, Barcelona. Pat Barca. So I, I I wasn't even in the team at the start of the season. I, that rings a bell. You know, I wasn't in the team. So he he played Yorkie with um, Oli, Teddy, uh, Giggsy, Scolzi, and then I finally got a game against Southampton at um, the Dell, the old Dell. You know, we ended up winning three nil, and really that's how that partnership ran from then to the end of the season. Everyone talks about that partnership now. So it wasn't like yeah. The manager brought his son in, in to play together. No, so no, you no. get more, you give yourself more credit than the manager probably thought. Yeah, yeah the manager probably gets all it's that credit of like. Yeah, hundred percent. Because that's look, that that's management though. Yeah. If you look at management, some things are not meant to happen. Yeah, but then when it falls into place, of course the manager is going to take the credit because he's the manager, and people are going to say unbelievable partnership. That how was that formed? Do you think they could play together? I, I remember, like I said, I, I remember when the manager said to me, he said that. I can't, I can't see a partnership between you two. Oh, man. Who first said that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At, at the start, no, when, when, he, when he first come in. I can see it. Just on, on pitch wise, you're probably running a lot of the same channels on paper. Uh, if, you we, to, if you look at the Villa York and the Cole United, on paper, I wouldn't say that's like a marriage made. He's not a poacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we to, we're totally different. Yeah, I, I hear that at, at Villa, yeah, he used to like do more work and whatever. You know what I'm saying, but I, I think with, with us, the, the the way I played and the way Yorkie played, I think just his intelligence and my intelligence doing that, he's not going to go into areas that I want to go. Right, into. yeah, yeah. And that's that's why it worked so well because he was like, well, I'm not going to go in there because Coley's going to go in there. Mm. Yeah, I'll stay here and whatever. So we just bounced with each other. So when you saw all them man starting ahead of you, did you think, oh, I got to start stepping? I mean, you know, I'd be very, very honest. Yeah, I was very, very open minded. I just turned around and said, look, whoever comes to Man United is going to make Man United a better team. And that, that was my mentality. Mm -hmm. If it's for me to move on, it's for me to move on. But I, I ain't going to be grudging a man, man nothing. Yorkie come, I took him out. I took him where to go cut his hair, where to eat, where to go. <laughs> you got, you got bubble, yeah? Where, yeah, where to go by his house and all those kind of mm. things. So I, I wasn't there like saying, raw, man's going to be screwing a man. I ain't got time for that nonsense. Speaking, you know I mean? of, speaking of where to buy your house, you played for Blackburn, Fulham, City, Arsenal, Portsmouth. That's up, down, up, down. How did you do that? That must have been annoying. I think, um, yeah, it, it was. I, when I was at uh, Man City, not a problem. When I was at Blackburn, not a problem. Obviously, Man United, not a problem. It's when I, I, I moved to um, Portsmouth. Yeah, it's down south. Yeah, it was like, 
it was a long thing. It's up. cold, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, it, no, it, it, it was long because my, my kids were young. My kids really struggled, mm-hmm. you know. I wasn't in the team as well. I'm turning around and saying to myself, Rah, yeah, I'm here, my kids, I mean, my kids are not happy. Man's not playing. I mean, man's... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you kept it real. You kept That's it real. One hundred. Would you bro. have had to move your son to the Portsmouth Academy at that time? No. As well? So then my my boy went into the Southampton Academy. Academy. That's a good academy. While well, you're at Portsmouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God damn. Yeah, yeah but Portsmouth Academy, academy nice. probably not. <laughs> if you look at every Portsmouth fan who plays for Southampton now, like, yeah, it's true. That's it's true. They, Wood that's Prowse, academy, isn't it? Wood Prowse Portsmouth fan, by the way. Is he? Mm. Whoa. Fun fact. But um, yeah, ninety five wasn't it? <laughs> Yeah, we're back to ninety five. No, 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 just like we were just touching before you get before you came here. Because you're late. Yeah, because yeah, because I live in Portsmouth, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. Yeah, um, ninety five was the year of everyone was saying, "Oh, Coley lost the Premier League for Manchester United, etc., etc." But ninety eight, ninety nine, ninety eight, you scored against ninety eight, ninety nine, ninety eight, ninety eight, ninety nine. You scored against West Tottenham. Tottenham yeah. Last goal, and you won the Premier League. So how did that feel? Cycles. So you didn't care at all. Yeah, it's, cold, yeah it's, it's, it's redemption. It's sick, but everything, everything in life is, is cycles, you know. Mm. I mean, what goes around comes around. So everyone blamed me, like in in '95 when we lost to Blackburn. '97, '98, then obviously yes. Arsenal win the league. Come on, I, I don't know why these guys haven't brought it up. Man United, Man United, obviously that's the year before Man United are the best team in the world. Are you lot thinking, oh, this Arsene Wenger thing, this Arsenal team, this Vieira thing, this might be techie for us? Dennis no, Bergkamp. No, not at all. I, I don't think we, we knew and appreciated huh? that Arsenal were very... Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. We came Old Trafford, we beat you. You came to our... Talk heavy, man. Come on, Talk man. heavy. We got six points off you that season. Don't do that. We know you got ice in your veins, but you saw those Come boys on, over there and you said, mm, they might be the, onto the something day, The day you beat us at Old Trafford, that day you beat us 1-0. Yeah, we had beer injuries that day. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> beer injuries that oh, yeah, day. Let me go back on the motorway, man. Right? Beer injuries that oh. day, yeah. But, but you went on, you beat us at Old Trafford, then you went on some nuts run and ended up winning the league. Mm. I mean, I ain't going to lie. I, I remember watching the last game when you guys were at Everton. Mm-hmm. You, uh, 4-0. Uh, 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 Highbury. You smashed yeah. them. Yeah. Highbury and um, even Tony Adams scored. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Put through by Steve Bold. <laughs> Would you believe it? Let's go. Did I just say it was a joke? <laughs> you know, so I, I I think when when I watched that game mentally, I knew like boom next season. Mm. You're on it, on it straight away. Boy, we were terrible. In but any any time any time we lost the league at Man United, yeah. Oh, the get back was oh, always. Yeah. All right then. So ninety seven, ninety eight, you're thinking, all right, well done Arsenal. But next year, watch what we do, and obviously you go and win everything. But semi finals, Dennis Bergkamp gets a penalty, yeah. FA Cup. Mm. Arsenal are g- about to knock you out the cup. They're about to, you know, the momentum's still with them. Are you lot thinking when that penalty's missed, all right, now, no, no more prisoners? Peter Schmeichel, best goalkeeper most probably in Premier League history, by the way. One of the best in the world. Facts. Yeah. Penalties. He's he's one of those ones. You can fell off. Seriously, he's one of those ones. You'd most probably (laughs) change him for a guy who you think was going to save penalties, you know what I'm saying? So when he saved that, I just believed, yeah, we're going to win this game. And then Giggs, he gets an unbelievable goal. That was luck. Luck. Mm. If I run from the halfway line and fold up beer man, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and then put in the top bin, was, yeah, was, that was a cheat. I would. I'll take that. He had a lot of injuries that day as well. That was a cheat, and he took his top off. I was like, oh my god. That's when we saw the rug, because nobody, nobody knew he was that hairy. Should have kept his top knew. on. No one had a clue. You don't look at gigs and see all of that. That man's a werewolf, bro. He was swinging his shirt like this. <laughs> I think he would change that. I think he would change that. <laughs> you say if he could go back, <laughs> yeah, I think he would, he would change, change it. Still. Yeah, he's got other things to change. I didn't even play that game. I did my ankle the previous game and the manager said to me, right, I'm not going to risk it because we've got games coming up. And the, the manager's perception at that time, yeah, was the FA Cup was the least important. <laughs> what was the what? No, no, the least no, wait, important. Wait, 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 wait. No, no. That's, a, that's excuses, man. No, because we had Champions League. Oh, yeah. We had the Champions League. And the... And uh, the Prem. Saying that's I'm fine. On. So he, he made changes. Big trophies. I mean, Yorkie was on the bench that day. Uh, he put me in the stands. Jesus. Uh, and he changed quite a few players, you know? So to come through that, mate. 24 years ago was crazy. Some people ain't moved on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, look, it's cold. <laughs> and that's what I thought it was valued. Uh, Coley, I'm not gonna, I'm clocking that you're very ice cold, yeah? So this is, kind of rubs out my question, but you see when you got that call to say, yo, City want you. What did you think? Did you, like, did you think, oh, I can't. So see, see that one, yeah? That was all based on my family. 
all based on my family. I'd already touched on it. You know, went to Portsmouth and my kids were struggling. Mm. I'm a man about my kids. Facts. Yeah. So when oh, I found out my, my yeah. kids yeah. were struggling. Say, take notes, Bex. Listen to this man. Yeah, my kids were struggling, yeah. And um, my kids went back up north. I mean, I'm like. I've got to go. Yeah, yeah. Did that affect your football? Yeah, it, it, it does. It does because. And, and any man yeah, who wants to be in his kid's life, yeah, and then if you're not seeing your kids every single day, he starts to mess with your head. I'm saying, especially especially when your kids are young, mm. yeah, it, it messes with your head. So I'm, I'm, I remember like when they, I mean, my kids went back up north. It, it was tough, real, real tough. And I ended up going on loan to um to Birmingham yeah. because I, I wasn't playing at, I wasn't playing at, uh, at Portsmouth. And I'll, I'll, I'll be brutally honest, you know, I, I, I got I got sold a lie by going to Portsmouth. Is it? Yeah, I got sold a, who? a, bi- who? a so big, big who? lie. I'll call them now. Who? I, 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 I mean, I, I spoke to Harry. Oh, I mean, Harry. I, I know, I knew it. I waited. A Harry, see Harry the stories, bro. What happened to the wall you want to get me? What, what dream did they sell you? I mean, come down, you, you'll play games and, you know, I wanted, I, all I was thinking, right, last couple of years of my career, signed two years, call it quits. Because mentally, in my head, I said, when I was 35, I'm done. I'm done. I already made that decision. And then when when you start losing time in your career, it's like, brother, I, I lost a year here, so let me try to catch up. Because mm. mm. I lost a year. You know, so like I said, I, when, I, when I went to Portsmouth, when I went to Portsmouth from, from Man City. After mm-hmm. signing a new deal recently yeah. at City. You know what I mean? Because, all, all, and with that, I, I said to Man City, when I, when I was at Man City, then I said, look, give me another year, I'm calm. Yeah? Nah, nah, we can't give you another year, blah, 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 blah. I'm turning around and saying to myself, well, if someone offers me two, I want to play for two more years. And I said to you, just give me one more, same money, I'm no problem. Mm. No, we can't do it. So I'm turning around and saying to myself, I might as well go take the two years, innit? They they needed senior players as well. That's they had a lot of young players coming through at that time at City. So they, it would have made sense. And I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed yeah. it there by helping the young pros come through as well. But then them lot were going, um, so Sylvan. Uh, people like that, and so was like saying, oh, Coley, man, just come. Carnu was down there, Benji. Yeah, Laurent, yeah. All the man they were there. They had a good team, like, come, <laughs> man, come, just, just come in. It's a couple more years. I'm like saying, we you so many? Nah, but nah, just come in a couple more years and whatever. So, like I said, I, I went down there, and it, it just didn't work out the way I would have liked it to work. You never suited that shirt. Yeah. It's a big thing. It's a it's big like, thing. It might be the worst shirt you was in. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> worst shirt you were in. What kind of man was he like in training? Was he one of the man that used to sack it off or was he like proper like on training? I, I, I couldn't train the way I see people train. I think we, we're all built differently. And for me, training was about turning up, ticking over. Just ticking over. <laughs> Just doing enough. Just doing enough. <laughs> but when it gets to Saturday, that's what I turn up. I say to my boy and I, I say to everyone I speak to, what suited me might not suit you. So I'm not going to tell a man, you know, train like no. I'll be the first man. From when I coach, I'll I tell a man train properly. Mm. Yeah? But I know me. I couldn't train properly. But I, the first thing I'm telling the man is, bro, train properly. You know? so, so you must have seen bags of bags of players that throughout your career that, that trains well, but they're not. Yeah, I've seen, seen big like, training how do they players. Make this, how do they make this squad like really What intrigued? player did you see train the best but didn't really yeah. perform Majority of them the must be training ground players. They're probably cooking every week in training. That's how they get in the starting lineup. No, but there's, average on no, but there's a lot of men that I, train I think well, ma- ma- majority of the guys players. that I, I train with, I mean, yeah. Proper, proper train. Like someone like Gary Neville. Train like a dog, him and his back. I mean, <laughs> train, train, train. He train. thinks the ball real hard, yeah? That's an that's a idiot thing for me, though. I think that's an idiot. He was no, world no, class. No, he was world no. class. You see, exactly. World who? He was world class. Exactly, yeah. He was world class. Say it again. Yeah, he nev- never had to train like that because that was his mentality. Mm. I've got to train hard, you know. I go into the game feeling that, yeah, I've left no stone unt- unturned. I mean, go in, boom, he do his thing. I mean, as as people in the newspaper talk about, yeah, give him eight out of ten. He's one of those individuals, eight out of ten every week. And I'm not sure how people even mark you one out of ten to ten out of ten Nonsense, yeah. when you don't know what the manager's told you to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true. You know what I'm saying? The Jordan Henderson you effects, know? I believe, is what that's called. Oh my Here days! Still hold on We're to that. Talking to Andy Cole. Talking to Andy Cole about Jordan Henderson. <laughs> Jordan Henderson was at Sunderland when he yeah, was at Sunderland. Was, yeah, yeah, so oh, young kid. Oh, yeah. him, and him, I bet he was the hardest working kid ever. Young kid. Yeah. What about John O'Shea, my guy? 
Shades is a good boy. Yeah, man, he's a good boy. I told you. <laughs> Johnny Evans is there as well, one of the hardest working oh, guys. Wait. Johnny's a good player. Wait. I love Johnny Evans. Johnny, I love Johnny, Johnny Evans. Johnny's a really good player. Yeah. I think Johnny was very, very unfortunate. He should never have been sold. Man United took years to recover from selling him, in my opinion. Is there any youngster you saw come up and, like, obviously they still kick ball now and they surprised you? Like, you didn't think they'd turn out like this? Respectfully. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. At City, at City you, you've got, like, um, Mika Richards, you got Steven Islands, you got that whole generation of. Ma- would you play? Michael Johnson was there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, John was there. Topo was there. Who's Topo? Uh, Mika. Oh my! You call him Topo. They call him Topo. <laughs> Topper. Topper. Yeah, <laughs> Topo Brucker man in in a game one day. I call him Topo. <laughs> <laughs> That's so yeah. African, bro. <laughs> oh, I was he, thinking. Uh, now, nah, did these uh, man know who Topper is? I have to ask, man. Yeah, he did. He broke a man in preseason one day. From then, I call him Topper. <laughs> Um, Steven Island, real talented. He proper. Yeah, he was yeah. cold. Still. Really, really talented. Yeah. John O, talented. Yeah, proper. Very, very talented as well. Is there a changeover in that generation where, like, say, a Mika Richards generation, where their preseason starting before yours, and they're like doing the whole personal trainer and everything else? You know, I, I thought when 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 I joined Man City, I went on preseason with them. I mean, I, in fact, that's when I, I met a uh, majority of them anyway. Preseason, you know, and just to watch those guys. Then, I mean, that's. Michael's playing in midfield then, that's when he come on. Yeah. I mean, that's when he yeah. brought the man in midfield. And I said, bro, stop <laughs> man. Uh, Steve and I was very talented, real good feet. Uh, could see a pass, drop his shoulder, go past players and that. Flair. But men- mentally, you know, mentally sometimes he wasn't at the races. Mm. But real, and I mean a real, real talented player. Yeah, yeah. And, and for me, it was kind of me going in there, just try to look after those guys, you know, try to get the best out of them. There's another young midfielder at Man City at that time. Give me his initials, I'll get it now. JB. Huh? Joey Barton. Uh, <laughs> Joey Barton. In my opinion, Joey Barton was a player. Yeah. But but but, but it's just when he, when nah, his nah. accent changed in France, <laughs> something <laughs> was wrong. <laughs> Man started took him patois. <laughs> it's okay. Joey, Joey, Joey was a hard working individual. Yeah. Are, are there shades of Roy Keane in there, or is it? Nah, 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 nah. nah, nah. <laughs> no, yeah, nah. Constantly, nah, nah. nah, nah. nah, nah. man just said he's a hard worker. You know, that just knows that man's rubbish at football, but you work hard. That's sad. Andy, Marks asked you, was there any other Man United players that you would love to play with that you didn't get to play with? Is there any other Premier League strikers you would love to play with? Thierry, yeah, TT. I, I, I love Thierry. I think Thierry's top, top draw. But come out for was. Very, very special. Burkham and Cole is... Yeah, Burkham is special you player. There you go, you got it, you got it. You got it. That's cool. the two rivalries, isn't it? Yeah, you like? just wanted to talk about Arsenal players. No, yeah. just not, I didn't know he was going to say Arsenal players. He could have said anyone yeah, speak, so, In fact, speaking of Arsenal, yeah. Remember the argument we had, T, a year ago? Yeah, I was going to bring that up, go. Is it? What's that? Well, we, I've got, I've got, <laughs> no, I've, I've, I've got a stone to pick of you, Uncle Andy. So basically, I, I, I shouted on this show that, you know, Andy Cole over Ian Wright, them days. Like what? You didn't retweet. <laughs> 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 so I, want, I need to know your thoughts. We had a big debate here about you know and respect both strikers, Ian Wright, Andy Cole, amazing. But I'm saying Andy Cole. He said Ian, Ian Wright. What are you saying? <laughs> 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 I mean, I, you know, I'm, I'm gonna move like Kobe on this one. Yeah, God rest his soul. Yeah, yeah? I gotta say me. Yeah, you gotta say you. Yeah, you gotta I mean. say you. Respectfully. What can you say? I respect you. Lost it. You lost it. I will ask him right next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so if, you, if you ain't gonna back yourself, who's gonna back you? It's a great debate, though. Nah, but you can know you can know a man's better than you. That's not not backing you, no backing yourself. So if if you know a man's better than you, you are you gonna actually come out and say, "Yo, bro, this man's actually better." <laughs> That's defeatist, bruv. Now he, he might be betting you in a certain department, but you might say, "You know what, bruv? When I when I get my, I'll get one up on you, though." Like. Like that day, cool. I know someone might be better than me, but that day when I'm playing against you, bruv, I'm gonna give you a long day. Like, but I know you might be technically you're better than me, but that day you're not gonna get your one up. Like, but I know usually like you, you might get it, but when I'm playing against you, you're not today. It's not gonna run. But you know, like, yeah. If I'm playing, imagine me. I'm playing against Vera. I know Vera's better than me. Yeah, but but what? Same but league, what? Same pitch, same like, champions. Listen, league, listen, same I'm everything. a Premier League but player. What? Yeah. I know I'm playing against Vera today. I know Vera's better than man. But I know today when I'm playing against Vieira, I'm gonna give him a horrible day. I, I think know it's I'm gonna, mid- do, I'm just gonna though, kick you up. I'm not. I'm not even gonna play football. I'm gonna take it somewhere else now because I know. But that's because you're midfielders. Strikers, strikers no, on other the ends of the pitch. Is, you and Ali is, is 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 close because if you, even even when we asked Jermaine Defoe, 
they it, it took them long to they couldn't pick. Yeah, Jermaine Defoe said he obviously if he was honest, it's probably 50-50, but he grew up with Ian Wright. Yeah. That's his favourite striker, so he's going to go Ian so, Wright. Yeah, don't forget, everything's perceptions. Yeah. yeah. I mean, in, the, in the playground, that was it. Right Cole, right Cole, right Cole. Why Why wasn't it Cole, Shearer, Cole, Sherrick, Cole? Like, why was it right Cole? Why was that? Because of well, my school black was anyway. Black man. It was you went a black to a black school yeah. as well. You <laughs> black kids. What are you talking about? Shearer. We were calling them all black clients. Whatever Shira. school you went to, no one's talking about Shearer and Sherrick. Not your school. But anyway. do you know what is? I, I feel like them days, yeah. Like, if you was watching football, it was like Andy Cole was the one that was banging all the time, especially at Newcastle. He was the one running off celebrating. I feel like you're right. It was just patches of like laughing with the goatee. <laughs> and that's, but it, it was class. <laughs> but it wasn't, it wasn't just a match of the day every day. It wasn't a match of the day oh, every right, week. Right. That's not fully true, but always. Nah, that's not fully true. Don't do that. Have you got like a stigma about you, like, or something? Because I don't know. I'm, is there something like like a rumor or something that goes around around football that maybe the public don't know? Like, because I don't understand why you get like disrespected like that. But like I said, I take everything in and I weigh things up. Yeah. So before I, I shoot from the hip, when I do shoot from the hip, everyone knows why. So because I don't give myself to the media when I was playing and that, and it, oh, he's, he's arrogant, he's surly, he's that. Why at that level, yeah, every black individual got to be arrogant. We're not arrogant, mm. we just do what we believe is right. Now we're respectful, but we do what we believe is right, you know what I'm saying? But it was always that the arrogance thing, arrogance thing. So I, me I remember when I was young, I said to my dad, um, I want to play football. I remember my dad turned around and said to me, mm -mm. not in Gossel, mm -mm. I said, nah, nah. He said, nah. He said to me, no black man can play football. Yeah? I said, nah, nah, dad, I can't, I can't. He said, no, 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 no. He said, I've been here how many years? Yeah? You can't play football. You can go play cricket. So we used to have this Ryan debate. Lara. West yeah. Indian, Caribbean, Caribbean man. man. Yeah? Caribbean. But I, I, I didn't understand what my dad was saying. I mean, but when I got into football, I, I, saw, I started understanding that whatever you do, yeah? And my granddad just said exactly the same thing to me. Yeah, you're gonna have to be four or five times better than your counterpart, yeah, for them to even give you a prop. But it took me it took me a lot, a lot of time to actually realise what my dad was saying. So when I got to that level, yeah, I'm turning around and saying, oh, my man started to talk about me like I'm an idiot. Yeah. I'm understanding it then. Because they ain't gonna give me my prop because I don't wanna talk to them or I don't wanna give myself to yeah, them or whatever. Not, not friendly friendly I mean, them, man. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. So what that stigma has, has always stuck with me. People would turn around and say to me, oh, he's this, he's that, oh, he, yeah, he's not as good as such and such, he's not as good. But I'm not telling you that you should be telling me that I'm not as good as such and such. I had this conversation the other day, yeah? But I turned around and said the other day, there's not one centre forward that's playing now, yeah, that's done anything that I've not done. Woo! Ooh, yeah. That is chat. And that's what I say, like, legacy, like they talk about Sarah like crazy. They put, they talk about Harry Kane, like, as an all-time legend nine already. Donnie ain't even won nothing. You know what I'm trying Boy, to say, like? That's Teague, isn't it? No, but I'm just saying, but <laughs> your legacy is a bit disrespected. I all the time. Even, obviously, like, politics, racism, all that, even in this 2023 or whenever it is, you're still slightly getting disrespected. I see them trying to compare you with Nunez the other day. Yeah, yeah, I thought, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'll hot up the brother. Today is a lot of branding. Like a lot of footballers, I feel, are big purely because yeah, their Andy brand was, is big. Andy and was doing good branding, though. He, he had a single. That's now, that's <laughs> what I went on. I went to talk about it. Well, you had a song. You had it a tune. Bro, Andy Cole charted. What? Andy Cole charted. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? What year was this? You see, with that, that was, that was the maddest, maddest thing. I, I think after, after we won the treble, it was like... Well, a man can do anything. <laughs> 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 I'm going to start recording tunes, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, you know them ones. Mama's saying, like, Get into the new year, Manelium yeah, 2000. Bro. What genre was it? What genre? What? He done Outstanding? Yeah. I was saying, yeah, yeah about Outstanding. That's what he sung. That's, that's, that's he what he rapped on it, bro. After, after winning, he rapped. Ask him. After winning yeah. the Premier League, <laughs> FA Cup, the Champions League, it's like, bro, well, anyone, anyone sit around and say, oh, do you fancy doing this? Like, man was saying, yeah, all right then. Cool. Yeah. Sha Shaq was doing it. On top of the yeah. world. What did Gaffer say when you made a song? It, uh, that year, yeah, it made no difference. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they walked the league as well, 99, 2000. Yeah, that tune yeah. the year before yeah, that. Yeah, was footballers Fo footballers, though. footballers were allowed to be rock stars back then, though. They weren't as much cameras, yeah, so you can yeah, get away with murder. It's, it's a mad thing. It is a problem. mad thing. Were you lot going, like, going out before night, um, before games and that? Nah, nah, nah. That's, that's unprofessional, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's unprofessional. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I sound professional, but, but did you go? Did the, did the team used to go out a lot though? We we used to go out once in a blue moon. To be fair, to be fair, I wouldn't say once a blue moon. I think we used to go out. If we didn't think we was playing particularly well as a team, or you had to air frustrations or what. We used to go out then. 
So we also go out for um, something that we have a few drinks, but get everything off your chest. Yeah. I think that's that's where team morale comes from as well. That's why our team was very, very close. Was it true that, that Fergie knew everything though? If he went out, he knew who went out last night and who yeah, was drinking. The streets, man. He had the streets still. Have you heard he had the Manchester street? Yeah, like all the clubs, yeah, all the he's, owners. He's <laughs> you, you say that, yeah? You the say that. You're laughing like you got bagged. Like you got in trouble. You're guilty still. A man got caught red handed out. How many times did you play with Yoki and he was hung, hangover? Yoki, look, Yoki used to come in, yeah? So if you train at like half ten, Yoki used to phone like Coley, I'm running late, yeah? Put my kit outside for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm saying so, yeah. But when you're winning, though, <laughs> yeah, when you're winning, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But you know yeah. what? It's certain man I like that though. They need to like to express themselves. They need to be in that jokey or just out environment, like because if they come in now, start just staying indoors, rah, 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 like they can't express themselves, like yeah, every, every, yeah everyone, everyone's different, especially with soca. Everyone's different. You say soca, chilling, yeah, for real. Soca music's are magic. You played with Lee Sharp, Sharpie, Lee, yeah. Lee Sharp once bullied Jordy. Excuse, oh yeah, he said I was rubbish at penalties because we came runners up in a shootout and he gave my trophy. He said, you're shit. <laughs> I swear down, <laughs> that's the only thing he said to me. You know what we say? You can't be hung for telling the truth. So in 98, when Arsenal won the league, did what did you see uh, Ferguson do different for the following season for you to come back and just win the treble? Buying Yapstam. <laughs> Yapstam was crazy. <laughs> but he's, he's a different kind of manager. You win and boom, you win, you celebrate. Ah, uh, no, for instance, a Sunday, the Monday is done, you know. He's done. Don't come in thinking about, oh, yeah, no, no, no. He didn't care. He's Time done. to move on. What about hat tricks? Moving on. Just moved on. Bomba. I mean, the first time I, I won the Premier League with, with the team in that. Gassed. Oh, proper. Gassed. Telling all your family, friends, Premier League winner, it proving was everyone wrong. Done the day after. <laughs> <laughs> and, and black people, we like to celebrate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll celebrate done for no. a week. Done, no. I honestly believe winning doesn't feel as good as losing feels bad. Yeah. So you just yeah. that moment just goes. And you just yeah, like, I don't yeah, want to feel yeah. the I, loss. I agree with that because don't forget, no one remembers second. No, exactly. Don't matter how good your fight was, no one remembers. You played. You played under Roy Keane as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's obviously he last summer. I think he was. He he seemed to be talking like he's ready to come back to management. Obviously, he's a, one of the biggest stars in football in this country now. What was it like playing under a player that you'd played with? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's funny, man. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because I, I I know him so well, and I, I I get on with him, you know. So when he went in the management, and boy, could you believe it? Yeah, yeah, I I could believe it. Yeah, because I mean, people like that will always go into management. Mm. You know what I'm saying, you know. But I, I think when you go into management, at some stage, yeah, you got to look at things and totally different to it as a player. Because what what Roy do naturally, mm. bang, don't think about it. Yeah, mm. other people can't do. Mm. You know, so when you're elite level, you do things and people say, oh man, that's bad. Mm. Once you manage at a certain level, people can't do those same kind of things. That's what Henri was getting mad at his players. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Imagine because it's, it's, it's natural. Henri the coach are doing finishing drills <laughs> with the yeah. team and you're, just getting, first time up, it, man. you're getting upset because yeah. they can't do what you've been able to, what you just roll out of bed and just do. Take for granted and you're getting mad with these players because they be can't fair, do it. To be fair though, what did, what did he do, Roy King, when he was manager of Sunderland's? as one of the best midfielders in Premier League history who's coached a load of players that aren't great in midfield. He puts Dwight York in midfield. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, yeah. he called Dwight yeah. York and said, yo, I need you back. Because yeah, like, he, he, wanted wanted he wanted someone who could do it. You see if he's got to dress you down in the, or dig you out in front of the players or something like that, yeah? Is the, does, is it, is it, does it seem like harder because you've got the relationship? Like now you're playing under a minute, like because you've got a relationship, you know him properly, your brethren. Does it affect how he can No, you know, for, for me, I, I, I think that shows that he's, he's prepared to, in front of the rest of the team, to say, look, I could do it to him. I could do it to you. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Does he tell you before though? I'm saying. Does he tell you? No, no, no. Oh, get ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get ready. Get ready for the team. You know what I mean? <laughs> the the, the, mad, the yeah, maddest oh, thing. Oh, he catch you after a bit. Sorry, man. Yeah. My, my, my brother. My brother. Oh, after, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. But I think once you, once you once you're at that level that you understand what he's looking for, and what he respects, and whatever. So a lot a lot of the time, like seniors, he, he wouldn't even go because. You try to do the but right Ferguson thing. was cutthroat though, man. He got rid of like Yapstam, Lee Sharp, um, Points. Like, wh what was that procedure like when he was trying to get rid of someone? Was it just like kind of similar to a win? The next day it's over. See you later. Or yeah, very much like that. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I remember when when Yap went. He was like, "Wow, mm. he's, he's one of those ones. He was here today and then tomorrow, gone Yap had gone." Did you um, know? Or, or, or after it was done, did you know? After it was done, yeah, we, we knew that Yap had, had gone. It was like, 
So there's no rumours on that? It was no, just no, no, no. Why are we getting rid of Yap? Uh, Yap went, when Incy left, like I'd, I'd just joined uh, that January. And then Incy went that summer, I was like, the Yap one would hurt me. My centre back, my crazy dope centre back. You're getting rid of him. Out? Why did he get rid of him? It's the Neville brother thing, right? No, no, no. I, I think he, 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 he just believed that uh, Yap had lost the yard of pace or, or something like that. Um, I thought you had done something in a book. Is that, or is that, that one book? of your worst, um, like losing a teammate? You like, know, you if, if, if if you know he's a good player, yeah, and you get him well, yeah, because you, you don't you don't want to lose your better players. It's, it's one of those ones. United didn't used to know? lose their better players. Exactly, and I, I think he, he's come out and, and said, you know, that's most probably one of his biggest regrets. He's getting rid of yet. You know, yeah, it was coming back from his uh, Achilles. He had an Achilles operation, and yeah, it takes with Achilles, it takes a little bit of time to get going again. Who and he didn't him? replace him till Rio. It was Lauren Blanc. Lauren, and it wasn't yeah. till Rio comes that they actually have yeah, a centre back. Lauren was classy though. Know. I saw him the other day. He's the manager of Leon, I think. Have you ever gone to a gaffer like, oh yeah, like I don't think this formation's working or I don't feel like this is working. Is that what you do? Non-legal. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I've never done I've never done that, but like I've heard I've heard man go to gaffers like, bro, like I feel like giving basic advice to gaffers. Uh, nah, you see, no, I, I always say it'd be when when you're at that level, yeah. Your manager works with you Monday to Friday. Mm. I mean, sets you up, formation, blah, blah, blah. Once you cross the white line, if those instructions that the manager gave you are not working, you have to work out amongst each another. Mm. And that's what we could do. Because when, once you're at that level, yeah, your manager, I said Monday, Friday, 15 minutes, half time, full time, that's when you can do what he needs to do. But during that 45 minutes, you have to work it out. You can't look on the bench and say, oh, was there ever a game where you had to, what game did you have to work that out? Like, I mean, you got to work out every single week because don't think because you've got better players than other teams that, oh yeah, we're going to run away with it. Mm -hmm. Or the manager says, right, the game's going to go this way and it doesn't go that way. You don't turn around and say, oh boss, what are we going to do next? Do you think players are too robotic now then? Because they, now yes. they're very much system they're very, they're very, very clever now. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I found this when I, I went into coaching, you know, and you go into coaching and you say, right, boom, do this. You say, all right, then, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, and it doesn't work out and you turn around and say, but, but, I know I said do this. He goes, yeah, yeah, you told me to do that, so mm. I've done it. Yeah. So he said, well, well think, innit? Yeah, trust left now. I trust yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, but I'm just, I'm just doing what you told me to do. And that's that's what they can do now. Yeah, that's, it's, that's what it feels like. It feels everyone's robotic. Prog everyone's program, and I feel like people are scared to lose their shirt. That's what it is, though. They know there's bare men that are coming for your shirt. So it's one of them ones. The gaffers told me to do this. This is what I'm doing. Like, even if it's going right or wrong, because I know I'm going to keep my shirt. If you try extra sh and it goes right, you might be right. But if you try stuff that the gaffer didn't tell and it's going wrong, then you're God. screwed, isn't it? In this game now, yeah. Yeah, I feel like that's how this game with Pepper. Yeah, 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 but what do you mean? If, you're, if it's positive, then you can take that. If this guy is doing stuff I'm not telling yourself, him to do and it's always negative. Yeah, he's coming off. I mean, don't, he's, don't, he's don't get, don't yeah, get everything. It's only guidelines, you know? Mm. Everything you do is a guideline. I mean, you work Monday to Friday, it's a guideline on how the game might go. So if the game don't go to the out, out I mean, to the guidelines, how do you work it out? Is there, is there ever been a time where you've got a, like, um, information like Fergie told you do this, you've got to stick on this man or stay up top, and you thought, nah, that's not, I don't want to do that. Or you just, you, you, you go to, um, you play what you, you see. Say, I want to, let's switch, you, know, you come here. Go back to Juventus, you know, away. Do the manager prepare us to go 2 0 down after 20 minutes? Yeah, no, yeah, no way. So, what, what do we do? We go 2 0 down, then we say, right, uh, let's get to half, half time at 2 0. What do you have to do then? You've got to affect it. Can you think of and how, how do you affect it? Can you think of a time in a game where you've just gone rogue? Where, like, you know the gaffer told you to do something, but you, you said, no. You have nah. to, like I said. Oh, just all the time. If, if you break it down and you look at it, for instance, yeah? Turin, 2 0 down, 20 minutes. You can't, like I said, you can't wait for your manager. As players, you got to make certain decisions then because you got to say, right, well, I'm going to gamble on this or whatever, yeah? Tottenham, with 3-0 down at half-time, the manager comes in, doesn't say a word at half-time, yeah? The, um, the bell goes, the manager turns around and says, you're right, go out and win the second half. So, okay, then if the manager comes in and says nothing to you at half-time and he says to you, go win the second half, what you gonna, what you going to do is say, Oh, boss, what do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see, go how? play. Man said how? <laughs> work yeah. it out. Go work it out, go I play. I mean, so we work it out. We get a goal within, I don't know, the first minute. It's 3-1. We play, we play, 3-2, three, 3-3, two, three, three, four, five. We have to work it out because, like I said, you, you can't be robotic. You know, people might turn and say, oh, footballers are thick. No, they're not thick because we work things out. Intuitive. You, you coached a few times. 
Oh my. Um, is there a reason you're not in coaching like more consistently because of that? Because it's just like the players these days, they don't quite relate to the style. Or is it, because I noticed that two of the coaches, two of the three big coaches that gave you jobs were black first time coaches. And your brothers. Sol Campbell and it was Lee Clark, right? Yeah, yeah. Is it because it's like such a difficult field at that time to get it's into? It's difficult. The, the last couple of times that I've gone into coaching with, with Sol, I mean, I've, I've, I've loved it. But the, the level we're at, mm. It's tough. Yeah. You know, we took the Maxfield job. I mean, players weren't getting to paid. To survive in League Two, yeah. Yeah, we yeah. were getting paid on time. You know, turn around and say, we ain't got no money to get to work. And you've got to work around that. You know, we keep them up. You know, ends up leaving Maxfield. We've got a South End. Takes a South End job on the premise that, yeah, you know, there's going to be a little bit of money to come in. You can come in, you can move people in, bring people, vice versa. Um, find out they're an embargo. Jesus. He's got rid of players to free out wages. And then you embargo, you can't bring anybody in. Then you're playing kids that have never played at that level. Oh my God. And then people are saying, oh, Soul Campbell's an absolute nightmare. They're terrible. Terrible. Hands down behind his back. Obviously, we come out of that. And, you know, you try to get yourself in another job. And, you know, I've, I've no doubt you've heard it many times. You know, you, you put in for a job and no one don't even come back to you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's me all the time. Did you... um? Manage, did you coach two clubs at once? I thought I read that, MK and Huddersfield. Uh, no, I, I did um, Huddersfield after with uh, Clark, yeah. Okay, but it was all your bridges though? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Which is then, at that time, it felt like that was the only way players from that generation were getting jobs. Was yeah. if literally if a player they played with said, I need, I need people that understand how I want yeah, to play yeah, football. Yeah, yeah, and it's, it's that simple. And see when you're coaching, can you could you see someone that's like, ah, right, cool, he's a man that hates training, but he's a bad boy. <laughs> like, what do you tell him? Because you know yourself now. Yeah, I, I think all, all I try to do now when I coach, yeah, is just gym and that's what I try to do, you know, give them. Mm. I mean, give them information. I, I remember uh, when I was at Huddersfield, you know, one, <laughs> one of the funniest things I turned around and said to myself, you see, that's why I see some of you youths, yeah, you drive me nuts. <laughs> <bro>. <laughs> so I'm, I'm telling the man, well, I'm, I'm trying to help a man, look, yeah, try and do this, boom, boom, boom. So the brother said, yeah, I know. Oh, wow. So I said, nah. he said, yeah, I know. <laughs> Time to go, you know. If you know, you'd score. <laughs> I, I know. I, I knew it to lose his ragged. I said, "Yo, big man." You know what? You know, I said to the you. Yeah, I don't know if I'm even like swearing here, but yeah, yeah, because you know, are. I said to the you. I said, "If you know, why are you here?" <laughs> Facts. I don't have to tell him straight. Has to you got? You've got why aren't you at the World Cup? <laughs> I had to tell him level, straight. Bro? You know what I'm saying? And that that infuriates me when you try to help someone and the cat's like, oh, "Yeah, I know, you know, man's out. I, I know what I'm doing." If you know what you're doing, yeah, you shouldn't be at this level. I'm gonna find out. He's watching now. <laughs> He's watching. I'm gonna now. find out. We need to find who that you is. Yeah, man. If you can't be talking listen, to if you're watching, bro, bro. He is watching. 100%. Your mirrors were off. <laughs> <laughs> you tried to tell Andy Cole what to do. This is my. Did you compare yourself to other? Basically, yeah. What I want to know, yeah. You see that now, like internet and all that, yeah. All the players, everybody knows each other in it. So like the strikers, top. About friends, isn't it? Not like friends, but okay. they could probably watch it. Like Mbappe might be watching what Harlan's doing and and that competitiveness, isn't it? Obviously, there was. User was doing like, I don't know, I don't even know if you had a fax machine them time. So I don't know. Jesus. Was you watching the European man or was it just the English strikers you cared about? Oh, we didn't really, I didn't really used to watch European football. I know um, we used to watch football and was it on Channel 4 them time. Go Lazio. Lazio. Yeah, 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 was yeah, it a yeah, thing that you wanted to be the that. best in, the, in, in Europe though or did you just care about England at home? No, I, look, you want to be the best you can be. So when you're playing in Europe, yeah, you want to be the best in Europe. You know what I mean, but at least cause problems. I'm saying so, when you're going to Europe, you want a man to know, turn around and say, yeah, but I know about this dude, you know. Mm. know what I'm saying, and that's that's the rep you want when you. So when playing. you was playing, yeah, like, I'm firing all that. Yeah, even like are there other strikers around the world? Not in the Prem, but other around the yeah, world. Like, like, yeah, this is Del Piero is bad. Yeah. I love watching him. Um, Patrice Loco, uh, Clive, Boxic. Oh, who picked him a job? It was me in it. Boxic, nah, wish. begging it. <laughs> Did you wish? <laughs> Suka, Raul. There was bare players. Yeah, there was there was killers. Out Clive. There. Clive. Patrick was a real good player as well. As I was saying, but, but would it mean something to you that they think that them men yeah, you think that you're cold too? 100%. I, I remember when, when I played against the, the original Ren Ronaldo. Come on. Yeah, Brazilian Ronaldo. The Ronaldo, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's the original. Yeah, the real Ronaldo. We played him at the San Siro Champions League quarters. Yeah. And I remember standing in the tunnel, I'm looking at a man saying, bro, bro, this is Ronaldo. You know, this is yeah, man got star still. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And Bob, look, Coley Wick. I thought, oh, that's really nuts. I remember Roy used to say to me, just remember, yeah, you're as good as these men, you know. But I'm saying, nah, this is Ronaldo, bro. 
I'm looking at him like he ain't even real. You know what I'm saying? It's like when you hear them NBA man talk about Michael Jordan. Mm. I'm looking at this. Bro, I've watched this man on TV big time still. And he's here? Yeah. And then the whistle goes, you got to go down that tunnel. Man's like walking down that tunnel. Say, yeah. Bro. But you, you at, that's when you know you're at that level. Yeah, because you have to go against him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're doing, you've got to do your job on the other side. So, yeah, there, there's been times I've, I've been at that beer time. Did you used to go in, like, in the tunnel and scrap in that? Nah. No one used to scrap. No one used to scrap in tunnels. I did. Everything depends on. I saw you what's scrap on the on. picture the other day. You know, which I was one? I was doing some research. I he said which one? Which he one? Said, which one? one? Yeah. <laughs> Five and zero. Oh. I think you banged up. You banged up uh, Neil Clement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, like proper punch. You know, he threw his head at him. Like head. <laughs> scored a bang and got sent off. What? <laughs> Bad temperament. <laughs> <laughs> you can't disrespect that's, that's no I hear it, I hear it. Bad discipline. <laughs> who, who, who was your gaffer there? Uh, that one was uh, Cookie, Chris Coleman, that one was. What, did he go mad? No, nah, Cookie allowed it. <laughs> it's, it's just that calm, yeah? No, nah, Cookie allowed it. Bro, Fulham got two reds um, that day. It was a good Fulham team that year. Yeah, it was decent. Well, but he was just yeah, wardrobe, like wardrobe got a red that day. You know what is, you know when a man was just talking bare smack yeah. here? And I said to him, allow me, man. Yeah, one of those ones, yeah, look. I mean, then he got sent off. I said, go on, bro, off you pop. Yeah, and the man started to pipe up a little bit. So I said, all right, then, boom. Let me have a chat, little altercation, boom, boom, boom. Referee sent him off. Referee sent me off. So I, I remember, like, it's just, I said, all right, then, no problem. You wait for me in the tunnel. Yeah, wait for <laughs> Come on the corner. Yeah. <laughs> so he jogged off. I mean, I'm, I, I basically sprinted off. Yeah. <laughs> That's the difference, what? by the way. It was his match. Yeah. <laughs> but the defender didn't really want it. He's, he's no, because nah, he was in the dressing room, yeah? So I said, you know what, bandage, I'm going to try going to the dressing room. Yeah, just to have it out, you know what I mean? It's in the show. And the, the security guy stopped me from going in the dressing room. Yeah, sometimes when, when the mist used to descend on me, man, I, I, I knew then it, it didn't really matter. I, I got sent off at Anfield. I got sent off at the Stadium of Light. I got sent off about five times in there. <laughs> That's passion. Because <laughs> I remember went going to watch uh, PK play and he told one of the players, oh, I'll meet you after. Yep. But somehow his shower took two hours. 14 hours. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm not, I'm not fast he enough my shower. He came running around. Where is, my where thing, is he? No, my thing is, if I, told you, if I told you I'm going to wait for you, I'm going to wait for you. If I told you, wait for me after, wait for me, bro. It doesn't matter how long I take. No, I don't. No, you're no, giving, no. He you're waited a long smoke. time. The adrenaline, the adrenaline's dying. The adrenaline is dying, no, bro. No, if you're talking smoky, chat, when I tell you to wait, you have to wait, bro. Like, it doesn't matter. But I need to cream myself. I'm showering, your bro. You're soaping up. Allow it, man. No, creaming. He bro, was, I'm creaming he was myself, fresh. Bro. I come out fresh because, bro, I'm going out after, bro. I'm going to scrap and then go he was dancing So why don't you on scrap and then, then shower? Why don't you just go scrap and then... You didn't want that. You didn't want that. Bro, I always run it, bro. Bro, but I'm just calm, bro. You see my thing? I'm not like... He's, doing <laughs> he's not having it. He's, he's not having it. Not. He's not. You're rattled, Andy he's Cole, Andy you're Cole's rattled. trying to get into Neil Clement's changing room and he's dancing on Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> I want to play next week, bro. I don't want to do... I'm, you see my thing? I'm not look, doing it look, in front if, of everyone. For me, if, if he ain't going to go off, yeah, well, you... After you have a shower, it's dead, it's done. Nah, it's not it's dead. Done. No, because it's done, if you, it's done. If you it's take done. it, like, my thing is, football's football, yeah? I play football part-time. It's in the moment. It's it's in the moment. Nah, I'm not in the moment. I'm not, I'm not, I can hold, I can control myself. Well, you, you're ramping then because, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Every, everything's in the moment, it's in the moment. No, my thing is control. Like, I, everything's control. Like, let's say now, like, a man kicks my Achilles and I know, like, what you're doing now is very dirty. Like, you're taking it somewhere else for me. Like... We play part-time football. You don't know if I work. I could have kids. I work on a scout. I work on construction site. It's too much explaining, PK. Yeah, exactly. It, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> you kick my Achilles, but I might not be able to go. It doesn't matter. Look, if, if like I said, if you're in the moment, yeah, you get you get sent off, mm. yeah. And if you feel raw, man's pissed. There, I'm gonna pump up a man. You do it. You don't say right. I'm gonna have a shower. You might as well go yard. I mean, and then come back. I'm gonna put on my clothes. Meet, meet him tomorrow. And nice up myself, and then come out and say, "Yo, bro." <laughs> It's dead, it's dead. Speaking speaking of ramping though, um, Blackburn, where again, scored a lot of goals, won a League Cup straight yeah, away, straight away picked up a trophy. Well, come on, man. Um, you obviously, right. you scored against Tottenham in that final, Glenn Hoddle. Glenn Hoddle, who, for some reason, was on you, he would always talk, he would talk about Andy Cole. Like, for some reason, that was someone he felt like he could talk about. Um, well, like chatting, chatting rubbish, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Oh, and, right, I don't know then. what that was, but right. obviously he was England manager, so that probably limited your chances as well. Yeah, I, I think that's that's where we all come from. That's where we all stem from. But oh yeah, Andy Cole needs five chances 
to score a goal. Well, that, it all come from there and then the media jumps on the back of it and all, all to now people still talk about it nonsense. I, the, the, way, the way I clap back on that is straight. I said, look, if I need all those chances, yeah, I play for Man United in the Champions League, I'm banging goals in the Champions League. So how can you tell me Facts. I can't play international level when I'm banging goals for Man United and I'm playing better teams mm-hmm. Yeah, for Man United. Less chances probably in the Champions League, yeah. Less chances. See, when, when people have this uh, agenda, yeah, they, they continue to run with it. And that's what I've done. Even like, like I said the other day, I'm kicking back. My boy messaged me and said, oh, dad, this guy's uh, being disrespectful on Twitter. And so I'm like, but I don't really do Twitter like that. You know what I'm saying? So then someone I went on my Twitter and talking about Nunes. Yeah, and yeah, I, yeah. I, I don't know Nunes. Yeah, no. I've got nothing against Nunes. No. Yeah, and I wish him all the best. He's had a tough time since he's come to England. So this brother telling telling um, people on Twitter <laughs> that Nunes is like me. Crazy, I told him I said, nah, nah, bro. Straight away I hot him up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Straight away. Then the brother's trying to apologize, but I said, no, no, don't try to apologize Keep the same to me energy. now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, meet me in a, meet me in I a mean, dressing don't room. apologize to me now, yeah, because I'm I'm letting everybody know now. Yeah. Yeah. That's narrative. He needs to stop now. He needs to stop. Yeah, Glenn man's, Huddle, man. You know what I'm saying, is it? The man's retired. I'm nice. I'm cooling. <laughs> you know what I'm all saying? the trophies, everything's you know bulging. Yeah. And all of a sudden people want to keep having my name in their mouth stop it yeah Carl will hot you all up who's Glenn Hoddle there I don't you go know that's a good question it's a good I question I don't even know you don't ever bump into him at, like Monday Night Football and think no because I, I think f- since I retired yeah the, the way the way I I view things now is totally different I, I mean I, my, man's been close to death mm. you know I mean so the way I view things now if a man's got a beef with me you got if you say something I mean nothing nah. it's mm. only sometimes I turn around and say myself oh, this yeah Show man his respect when he deserves his respect. Mm. Of course, Next time man. you should just tweet your medals, man. I mean, I, I don't go there go beg anything. <laughs> don't, but don't, don't, don't you mean, dare talk stop, about medals Stop being disrespectful. Stuff. You know what I mean? So that, that, that's me now. But you you had um, Graham Souness as your manager there. Uh, it's weird. So many of the players and coaches and people you were around in your career now, the biggest people in media and everything else. Graham Souness is one of the biggest in the country, but it wasn't always great, you and him. What what went wrong between Andy Cole no, and Graham Seen? Just a personality clash. Yeah, man. yeah. Man, He's man. a difficult personality though. Me and Graham are cool now. Right. I mean, I see him, and I'm I'm a man. Yeah. If someone like me not too much, yeah. I don't want to talk to you. I want business. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But me and Graham are cool. I mean, I see him. I talk I to him. My missus. Hello. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> but when, when how me and him fell out? Yeah. It's like I, I went to Blackburn looking forward to it, and then we, we have a little of a ding dong yeah so he's playing in the boxes and that and um he's falling out anyway because training i'm like i said i'm not the biggest trainer but training wasn't the best so we're playing a little boxes and he, he dropped one short in the box and he said right you're in i remember saying i ain't in he said you're in but i said i ain't going anywhere and then i don't know he's like my youth come back to me and i flipped i said you know what this yeah okay i might as well just have it out I might as well have it out. So I started walking over and said, you know what, let's just have it. So I'm going to have it out with him now, proper, and I mean proper, and everyone like jumps, oh, Coley, now nah, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. So everyone like stopped me, and like said, oh, Coley, come, let's go in the dressing room, go in the dressing room, yeah? So Graham was like, oh, yeah, f- get in there again. I said, you know what, f- <laughs> So then, <laughs> after that, Bro, yeah, I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to stitch. <laughs> get shower, go home, oh. yeah? Come back, he's playing Arsenal the day after. He said, right, you're not involved. So I said, right, cool, not a problem. So then he was like, all right, then cool. Um, you got to apologise. Apologise what for? He can't talk to the manager like that. So I said, I ain't apologising to nobody. So he got, he got to a stage whereby my agent at the time said, look, Cody, you got to say sorry. So I said, all right, then. Say sorry. I said, all right, say sorry. He says, all right, and what we're going to do, we're going to find every way we can word it without you saying sorry. Yeah, yeah, fancy sorry, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I humbly regret. Yeah, yeah. so I, I had to do one of those <laughs> ones, yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but for me, yeah, Losing for me, th- I mean, for them, me then time, like, saying sorry, can't work, you know? So worded it right where I didn't say sorry, played in and out, in and out, and I ended up moving, I ended up moving to Fulham in the end, because I, I remember I, I was, uh, John Williams was the chairman then, and I remember I phoned John one evening, I was at home, I phoned John, I said, John, you know what, I'll get on well with you, I think Blackburn's a lovely club and whatever, but I'm going to be what? very honest with you, yeah. John, if you don't let me go, you're going to sack me. <laughs> and he was straight like that. Jesus. And then when, when John, when I phoned John and mentioned that, must have been a few weeks after that, I'd, I'd gone. Because John knew then, there was no repair between me and Graham, 
Um, and I was a lot of goals sack. there as well. Yeah, I, I loved it there. Yeah. Because you know what? When I when I left Man United, went to Blackburn. I think I signed a three year contract at Blackburn. That took me to thirty five. Yeah, that's, that was your magic number. <laughs> I'd already made my mind that I'm retiring at thirty five. I'm done. I mean, but like I said, that time was such a nightmare. I went there, it was a nightmare time. You know, left. And I, I, said, I was kind of like scratching around in him because I wanted to enjoy the last couple of years of my career, just like in the front end when I was enjoying my career. Back end, I said, let me just finish on a nice one, yeah? And it's a good team. You've got Damien Duff in there, young Damien Duff. Damian two guys Duff. there. Two guys. Woo. Two guys yeah. there. Was Bentley there as well? I really Hakan enjoyed Suko. it. It's before Bentley, I think. Yeah. So Andy, how do you feel now when you see like a player like Haaland destroying the Premier League? And do you think back like, if I was in this league now, in my prime, I could do the exact same or it will be harder or easier against these defenders. I, I, I look at him, I, I take my hat, hat off to him, you know, he's, he's come to a new league. He's playing a team that is quality, quality plays, create a bare chance and you're going to score goals. You know what I'm saying? And that's what he does. So I don't sit there saying, because someone, some full full. No, not just him, but I'm just about this, the, this Premier League now. Yeah, the, the, the Premier League now, if you look at the Premier League now, and people might sound being biased here, is it as good as the Premier League that, Ever. My generation, no. How long could they play then? He he won't score as many goals. Did, so. He won't score as many goals. Specs, as you think now. you think York and Cole could go against Saliba and Gabriel? I don't think Saliba and Gabriel can go against York and Cole. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think. Oh, come on, man. Uh, defenders of today, no offense. I don't. I don't feel like if, if, if we're if we're gonna listen to defenders of back in the day, it's not the same. It's a t yeah, it's a totally different game. Levels man. back in the Did day. Did you ever have a sniff at like moving abroad? He didn't want to move to Newcastle, Jordi. I don't think he wanted I, to move I to know, Spain. Man, <laughs> I, I, I look at that now and say, yeah, you know, I'd, I'd yeah, I'd have gone abroad. You know, different language, different way of living. I, yeah, I would have done it. But them times, everyone's come to England. Mm. Did any clubs come knocking? Mm -mm. Because everyone was in England. Man. I hear it. Did you ever play with man and think, bloody hell, how the hell are you in this team? Uh, you can say names. No, no. We'll wolf it out. No, no, no. Everyone you played with, you thought you, you deserve to be here. Everyone's at a level you turn and say, yeah. I think Ricochet was, um, I think Ricochet, what's his John name? John O'Shea. He's class, don't do that. Don't you dare. See, that's that's what I'm saying. People have people have these perception of people. Like, oh, yeah, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Bob, you don't know the finest things in football that like, look at you man. Don't know ball. The man can actually <laughs> play <laughs> ball. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, but, no, but that's 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 that's, that's the reality of it. You're not, you're not there. Ball. You're not there. 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 Like until you're in that situation, someone told me Sylvia and Distan was actually cold. Out Great, football. I love like, Sylvia and Distan. And I, I used to think Distan was tired, but like man was telling me. Are you a football like, fan? Seriously? Like what? No, seriously. <laughs> Nah, I just, I just see, I, like Richard Dunn, like, I'm just seeing these guys score own goals. Hey, this might be a two week ban, you know? <laughs> this might be a two week ban. I'm seeing these guys score bare own goals, so I'm thinking, yeah, you must be tired. So what, if a man scores an own goal, that means he's dead? <laughs> nah, it doesn't mean he's dead, what, but that's, like, that's oh, what I'm saying. What, what, okay, what, what if you score like, a lot of own goals, like, <laughs> tight as <laughs> brap. Yeah, yeah, you, <laughs> you, 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 I you got, Richard, Richard Dunn got the record. You got issues. Man. Richard oh, Dunn got the record. He's got more than Tyus Bramble. Yeah, Dunn, Dunn, Dunn got <laughs> Yeah, the even Tyus Bramble, guys like that, apparently they're not dead, bro. Jamie Carragher dead. scored a lot of own goals as well. He's got a, he's got tons of own goals. But I used to see Jamie Carragher getting cooked, though. Like, every time I'm looking at it, he's getting cooked, bro. But, but like, like Mark says, good. it's their job. They're, they're meant to get cooked. Yeah. I think black guys used to duff him up. Yeah, black guys black are guys always, to Jamie Carragher, if he sees a black guy, he's getting cooked, bro. He's, <laughs> but I rate him, like, I rate him because he tried to waste them. I get it, you get that all the time. Yeah, he ran like a parachute yeah, on his back. He's not catching no one, bro. Respect, that was pathetic. Henri ran off the field. <laughs> Henri Terrible. was off the field, bro, and he still got the ball, yeah, it's crazy. It's cheeky, man. Like, it's crazy, man. That's what I'm saying, it's a different level. I don't think we can get to your entire career, because honestly, the notes I got here, they go on for hours. So I just want to throw some names at you, just get some, um, perceptions from yourself uh, and what you thought of them. Someone like Eric Cantona, not many people can credibly talk about yeah, what he was like. Yeah, baller. Yeah. Different. Coming to the Premier League, smashed it. Mentality different. The way he trained, different. Everything was just different about him. I think at that time as well, changed the culture, especially at Manchester United. Did he retire too early? 30, yeah. Did he still yeah. have it when he left? Yeah, but then you, you never know why individual retires. I'm saying you can speculate and you say, oh, boom, 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 but you never know. But yeah, he was cold still. When he done that kick here, I read that he was going to go at jail for 14 days. Did you man think he was going to jail? I'd, mate, I'll, I'll be brutally honest here. I just joined Man United in, in the January. You must have thought, what the hell is this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what I was thinking. Look, yeah, but you, you grow up and you see certain things, you turn and say, Phew. yeah, but when you're playing football, you don't expect something like that. So when I see that, I was like, 
Christ, his peak still, you know. That was a good kick, man. Uh, it's clean. What was the first thing you said to him? Like, obviously, everyone had their own I, don't, I, don't, I didn't say anything to him because I, I was so surprised that I've been at Man United no longer than a couple of months and I'm seeing madness like this. <laughs> I'm like, right, trying to get head down. United is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's one of those ones, so. But you see, when you got a player like that and he's not in the starting 11, do you feel like that affects the whole team? Like, the team's thinking, ooh, like. Starting 11? Well, Eric was in the starting 11. Right. If, if he got dropped. <laughs> Eric, Eric, would, Eric, Eric would never get dropped. Never get but what about if he's like injured or suspended? During that suspension period. Yeah, you, you're going to miss a quality player. I mean, yeah, of, of course, you, we, we missed Eric at that time. Because you have to. Yeah. I mean, he's one of your better players. It's like any, any team now in the top four, if you lose one of your better players, it's... Honestly, it's had you ever seen, had you ever played with anything like that? Because obviously you had the French, the continental flair. You'd played a lot of British players. Beardsley probably had a lot yeah, of P, that yeah, tech. Yeah, P, P had a lot of quality. Yeah. A hell of a lot of quality. Did you feel like you were seeing something different with Cantona, though? Uh, presence on a football pitch, yeah. Did he actually talk like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Did he actually talk like that? Like the seagulls and the... <laughs> Eric, Eric was... Um, no, Eric, Eric was a cool guy off, off the pitch. Real cool guy, man. When you were playing certain teams, could you see that, that okay, we've really, we've already beaten them in the tunnel? That they could say, 100%. Yeah, like you said, you was on all of Ronaldo. They were looking 100%. at you. 100%. The colours, putting the colours I mean, up. 100%. Like but when, when we used to play at Old Trafford, yeah, we'd done teams in the tunnel. I remember sl- <laughs> some of my bridges I used to play against, I was like, oh, do us a favour. You know, son, keep it to two. <laughs> <laughs> half time, bruv. <brother. laughs> yeah, let's keep the two to half time and we go from there. I mean, because the fair people used to come at Old Trafford, yeah. We used to pump beer teams, no messing, yeah. And I, I mean, some of my brethren I was a play against, is any chance of having a little chat? I ain't got no time for no chat. We talk after the game, yeah. Did you saying? play Did you play in the grey shirt game yeah. against Southampton? Yeah. Was it legit? Could you not? Was it like the it puzzle was, it was off? Because the it worst was, kit ever. Really, it was terrible. <laughs> it looks, it looks it, though, it wouldn't it? Terrible. No, it was horrible. Grey should not because that that shouldn't work because of all the colours of the fans and everything. What else. you say? Was it you couldn't see? I liked the kit though. You couldn't see. The, you, it was just. It was just horrible, clash. horrible kit, man. <laughs> it just felt bad. <laughs> grey, grey is a draining colour though. Yeah, it's a draining colour, man. You don't associate it with anything nice. Anything nice as well. The kit you wore in the second half was class as well. The white with the blue stripes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that well, was they changed kit in the, uh, in the Bro, the, k- the kit made them f- like three 0 down, was it? Yeah, that was a hard kit. Yeah, and yeah. And they changed kit and went, won the game. Nah, nah, nah we, we lost three two. You should have kept the kit on then, bro. Uh, you know, what I want to know about yeah. yeah obviously, your goal scoring record, yeah, you scored bare goals, yeah. But they say you've only had um, like one 20, 20 league goal season in it, yeah. You've had two really, but it was split between Newcastle and and United, didn't it? Does it bother you? That you've only had what that you ain't never got twenty goals in the league again, or was that something that you was trying for, aiming for, anything? Look, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be brutally honest with you. If, if you look at what the Premier League now, yeah, a man could get fifteen in total, yeah, and that's deemed a good season. Yeah. A man's talking about raw. My man got fifteen goals all in, sixty mil. Jesus. Break it, break it down for him. Make it make sense. When back back when we were playing, yeah, if you wasn't like. Double figures by Christmas going into January. Man turn around and says he's had a terrible season. Man United can't win anything because blah blah. Make it make sense. Which is mad when you think there's two strikers. So if both strikers was expected to score thirty goals, who else could score in the team? That's your whole season. <laughs> <laughs> there's the whole that your whole team's goals in so, two so, players. So I'm saying so. Break it down now. So when when we watch football now, like I said, a man's got twenty all in. By the end of the season, you turn around and say, and they say that's a real good season, he's got 20 all in. Yeah. So you see where Haaland's getting to now. There are people turn around and say, oh, it's an unbelievable, because it is an exceptional season. Nonsense, he's got 40 yeah. odd goals now. Yeah? It's, it's ridiculous. He scored like eight said, goals last I mean. week. But he, he will blow everybody out of the water. I, 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 me- I remember listening to um, a comment earlier in the season. Um, the, was it Wilson was saying, you know, ev- everyone's fighting for the. Um, the silver boot, not the golden boot, words to that kind of effect. And I'm sitting there laughing, I'm saying, no one ain't fighting for anything. No. But he does the bully boy thing. He scores like four goals in the games a lot. There's a chances, yeah, even with all them goals he's going to get, yeah, he probably, Rashford might score in more goals than him throughout the more season. More games. More games, sorry, it in more matter. games. It doesn't matter. But it's more important, it shows the consistency. Scoring yeah, it, in more it, games. It might show more consistency, I, I, I get that. importance than that. You did the bully boy thing and getting six score against. Six, score 60 goals, win the league and get Champions League semi-final. It doesn't really matter what anyone else That's did. It. No one ain't got no chat. So so when, when that comment come out the other day about, oh, I think he's made the wrong move to Man City. What about it? He had late 30s. So if that's a bad move, yeah, what's a good move? No, the Man City, I just don't think Man City did the right thing by him. 
in terms of a few of the players that they put around him. But we'll see because he could win everything at the end. He, of the he day. could do, but I, I, I think with with Harlem, once he improves even more, yeah, you will see that team become even better. He's a super, yeah, he's superhuman. I just think Man City did. Man City could have done better by him. But if they win the league and Champions League, whatever, it doesn't matter. But you, you, you have to, for me personally, you, you have to fit into a team. Yeah. Yeah, the, the team is not supposed to be built around you. And I when people say, it fits that much though. Yeah, but when people say, well, they're not playing to his strengths and that, I'm going to be brutally honest with you, yeah? If I've got 30 odd goals already and they're not playing to my strengths, yeah, don't play to them. Yeah, no, nah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't play to them. Tigo's not arguing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not arguing. Five goals against Red Bull Salzburg is what it is. Three, it's three nuts, against it's Burnley is what it is. I, I, I believe he's one of the best players in the world. I just don't think... I think Harry Kane would have been a better Man City player. No. Man, Man City would be clear no. top of the league yes. right now. No. Yes, T, you're in trouble. We, <laughs> tweets, your tweets are in trouble. No. Shall, 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 shall I tell you why, yeah? Because Man, Man, Man City have been looking for someone yeah, who just wants to stay in the box. Yeah? Now... If you listen to all the talk about Man City, say, you know, all the need is something just to get in the box, stay in the box, yeah. That's what Haaland does. Yeah? That's all Kane's been doing this year as well, you know. He He's got like two assists. He hasn't. Harry Kane, for me personally, and I, I don't think I'm the only one who says it, you know, He's, he's, he's been dropping so deep recently. You turn around and say, so what? That's Why is he dropping year. so deep? No, if you watch him this season, he's been dropping he real has. deep. I, I, I yeah? can so with, with Haaland, yeah? <laughs> if, if you look at Haaland, yeah? If, if you look at his goals against the other day against um, Salzburg, yeah, yeah, they was all tapping. They were, and the Burnley. The, apart from one against Burnley, I think they were tapping as well. Yeah, that's that's all Man City needed. Yeah, and I with him, <laughs> he's got stupid pace as well. Oh, he's a monster. No, he's a, like he's superhuman. He's amazing. But Harry Harry Kane's got what twenty two this year for all a team that just yeah no no prem twenty twenty tw between twenty and twenty two yeah, right yeah, now. Got about I think he's got twenty two. And that's a team that does not create a lot of chances. That is a team that does but not you have see, too many you creative You see players. when you say that, yeah? Don't create a lot of chances. But when the chances are created, who are created for? Kane. Yeah, it's true. And Haaland, yeah. Haaland doesn't necessarily I mean, score chances You can't chances try knowledge man of football, you know? You can't... You, you <laughs> can't just leave it on the ball. Just leave it on the ball. This day we're going to lose. But, let's, but, let's, but let's, be, let's be clear. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. Pep Guardiola spent all last year trying to get Harry Kane. Yeah, he did. And then bottled it last minute. Yeah. Well, he, he might have bottled it or not bottled it, yeah? But let, let's let's be honest, yeah. When I've I've been in it, when I was at Newcastle, the team was built for me to score goals. Yeah, Tottenham is built for Harry Kane to score goals. So if you look at all the chances who they created for are him, yeah. So when people no say else. no, you got Son. I think Son's a fantastic player. Mm. Yeah. But Kane scored when Son scored. That's what I'm saying. But the majority of the chances are for Harry Kane. It's his team. Yeah, but even 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 if they've only just added Pedro Porro to be able to even put a ball on his head, that he's just added that to his game in I the last. I can imagine three months. the team thought, yeah, all right, then get the ball in the box for Harry, or if Harry pulls off it, get him, get the ball, and he'll produce a little bit of magic and he'll score a goal. I've been there. I was like at Newcastle, get the ball to Coley. You know, I hear it. This, this he's right, but <laughs> no, no, let's give let's give Tigo a cut, everybody. <laughs> That's, that's, that's football. <laughs> that's football. But it's like it's like Cantona, Cole, or Sheringham, Cole. It's like one of them can do Get off me, this man. thing, and one of them does the other thing. But to me, Manchester City, when it comes down to it, in big games, I think they would rather have because they play the one up top. They would rather have the guy that can play that little bit deeper and bring those wide players in I don't, and play I, off I, Kevin I don't De Bruyne. Because what, what Man City have been missing, yeah, is someone who can run in behind. This I well, agree. Yeah? I agree. And then. I agree. When when they, they lost Sterling, when the Man City players play and slip Haaland in, well, he's running away from people. Hundred percent. Yeah. But when teams go super deep and they don't, and Phil Foden's more of a midfield winger, if they'd have had like a, a Sane Sterling thing with Haaland, cool, that's perfect because the, the, the way they would devastate. They've teams. got so much creativity. For me, oh, God, even, even when a team drops he's deep, bleeding, leave him. <laughs> it makes it makes okay, no difference. He, he, you've pinned him three times. <laughs> I'm saying so. He, he's, he bleeding. No he's bleeding. And he's bleeding. He's <laughs> bleeding. Okay, Andy, you've won. The last man standing match. <laughs> you've won. You've won. No, I'm pins, arguing no about Erling <laughs> Holland with an Erling Holland striker. Obviously, the Erling Holland style striker is gonna back the Erling, a guy who runs in behind. That's no, gonna be his guy. He is, but ha ha Holland will change. He, he will change his game, and he will adapt to what. Okay, what so now we're saying he's gonna change his game. I'm saying, I'm saying, there's a guy who's got that he game already. No, no, no. I, look, I, I mean, I, I, Harry, Harry Kane's a fantastic player. Yeah, Harry Kane's a fantastic player. Harry Kane doesn't have the pace that Haaland has. No way. Yeah. Now, the way Man City want to play at times, yeah, they want to go in behind. Yeah. 
Because Haaland, I'm so, I'm watching Haaland, yeah, give man a yard, two at times, mm. yeah. Blazing past a man, hold him off like he's a girl, and then boom, it's a goal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Harry Kane can't do that. Don't you find it, don't you find it mad? Because growing up, yeah, I don't know about you lot, but growing up, there wasn't fast white people. <laughs> Like I didn't grow yeah, up. Right. I, I didn't grow up like in the playground. That's white a great people question. Always, you know? Who's the fastest? They're always at the, at the at the back of the line. Like, <laughs> That's a always. great question. But the, the game's changing. Physics is changing. We got faster, man. They and he's, he's his dad's an athlete as well, so he probably just. I feel like white people are doing something now. You they eat yeah, jollof and stuff. Yeah, yeah. 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 like they're they're bro, I'm seeing them, bro. Trust me. Right, yeah, all in oxtail, bro. They're doing something, bro. Andy, who do you think's gonna win the league this season? I, I, I still think Man City will win it. Pardon? Pardon? No, I do. Wait, what? Look at this guy. Look. Why? What, what, you, 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 you tried eight, it, eight, bro. But well, their next game is against Liverpool, which we, who knows? Uh, it's had. You've got 12 30 kickoff, well. April 1st. The way Liverpool have been so inconsistent, yeah, yeah. I can see Man City win. But, but I'm going to be brutally honest with you. Um, no, I'm going to be brutally honest with you, yeah. Man City, yeah, I don't know what it is this season. For some reason, the Vardy kicked the ball. No, 100%. It hasn't started yet. No, 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 no. I'm not having that. No, no, it's started. No, bro, they haven't. It's why, it's why they're resting the Bruyne because they see the last, they, for, for, for the first time ever, for the first time ever, they see the end of the season I'm, I'm be, before it this, happens. This, I'm going to be honest with you again, yeah? We've got 10 games left. When, they, when are they going to start? I'm, I'm going to be honest with you again, yeah? Right. Where did Arsenal finish last season? We finished fifth. Fifth. Eighth, eighth and fifth. Right, fifth. So don't forget that jump from fifth, yeah, to being where you are, it's a massive jump. I'm realistic. Yeah, but they've done it though. But they've done it. Yeah, yeah, it's a massive, massive jump. Yeah, yeah. if Arsenal win it this season, mm. yeah, where do you think? Where do you, where do you think you'll finish next season? Seven for son. No, oh, no, stop no, being no, stupid, no. bro. I don't, I, no, Top I don't, three. I don't know. Answer. 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 Brother, you don't support Man United. You support oh, Arsenal. Just chill, three, relax. Yeah. This ain't your team. Answer. This is title talk. Be oh, be, because be don't, don't forget, yeah, it's about consistency. It's about consistency. Yeah, if you win it this season, where do you think you? You'll go next year. I honestly season. think we'll compete again. I think we'll come top three. Do you think you'll win it? No, nah, it's can. difficult though. I think no we can one, because nah, I think we're going to get better. Thing. If you don't win this it's year, like it's, it's a Leicester thing. It's not a Leicester thing. You can never compare us to Leicester because we've won titles for one. So we're, we're used to winning titles. Leicester's never done that before. So don't, so the Leicester's gone. You can, you can definitely compare you to Leicester. That, 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 that's the way I, I look at it. I look at it and say to myself, right, okay, I have to win it this season, yeah? It's not about winning it. Liverpool coming next year. Yeah, but you well and know, you well and know, you've done it. Retaining it is the Only hardest thing. Only three teams thing. have done it's it though. Hard. It's three hard. teams that have done it. So if we weren't to retain it, I wouldn't be like. I mean, it's the hardest thing, bro. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, we're, we're the first team to win it three times on the bounce. <laughs> it's the hardest thing to do. <laughs> man, just put it out there. So, so take that. No, no. So you want us to stop Man City this season then? He played. He played for them as well. I'm, I'm be honest with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah you did. Let, for us let as well. the let the best team win. Let the best team but, win. Okay, let me just say this: if if Liverpool beat. City at Etihad. Or we'll get a draw team. even. Surely you're saying that. Arsenal, Arsenal. Arsenal, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But then, uh, Arsenal need to go to the Etihad. And Anfield. Yeah. yeah. And, and Anfield. Can Arsenal win them games though? And you got Chelsea, and you got to go to the Etihad. We go to right, Etihad right, on the 26th. Stop, 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 Please. stop, 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 stop. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Every time I've seen Man City play Arsenal, yeah, mm. they've scored Arsenal. Mm -hmm. And I mean, school. Also try to blame Man City and Man City's getting no 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 no. And, but you've seen you've you've been part of the title. Why are you trying to convince him? No, 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 no. Why am I trying to do anything? Let me have a conversation with him. You've you've seen you've been there winning the title. And surely you could see something in this young Arsenal team that everybody's asking them questions. Wait till they get to Christmas. They've got this injury. This guy's gonna come in, fill the void. And they, they keep answering they keep answering the questions, answering the the critics. You've been there. So that mentality within the squad, I think they're in their, they're in their cells and they're saying, we're not listening to everyone else. Yeah, yeah they still got to play City. Do you imagine have the same problem as well when, um, who was it, Alan Hansen came on yeah, television talking about kids season. can't win the league. But you see, the, the maddest thing is, yeah, when, when we were playing, yeah, you know what the manager always used to say to us? Yeah, Go on. The season doesn't get started till Easter. Facts. Right? Because that's when you drop it's three, three, three weeks' time. Right, yes. Business then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? Business Points get dropped, points get uh, taken, whatever, yeah? If Arsenal come through that period, because there's mad games in that time, mad games, like boom, boom, boom games. Yeah. yeah. We've got Liverpool, come Chelsea, that, Etihad, yeah. Newcastle. Drop in only, for instance, three, four points. It's win league. Yeah. Yeah, if they come out of that period and only drop three points, they're taking that. So what about Man City? Are we saying they're going to? Because they still got eight points to catch up with Arsenal. No, that's what I'm gonna... saying, yeah. But don't don't forget, for, for me personally, yeah, we always used to say sometimes, yeah, it's best to be the hunter. But you rather have the points Chelsea, on the yeah, board. Been there before. You rather have the points on the board. I've 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 been I've been in both positions. Yes, yes. At the top, looking down, say, oh, yeah, it's nice, isn't it? And then they win. Oh, we got a win tomorrow, you know. 
But Arsenal's answered all those questions. But sometimes there's Easter. one question you ain't answered. <laughs> Man City. Manchester City. <laughs> Manchester City. <laughs> no, and, like, yeah, Manchester City. They're gonna let us down. <laughs> and Newcastle away. These are all questions you do not have answers to. Not yet. We may do. No, exactly. So, do. so you haven't answered the question. Say this to you all the time on the phone. What was the question? It's a, it's a long way to go. But like I said, those are nine points. Easter period. That will tell you everything. Yeah, it's defo, defo. But I just think this this Arsenal team has answered a lot lot of questions. They have. It's answered they a have, lot of questions. I'm not going to sit and try flannel man down. You know what I'm saying, but just Mark, will do it. A quick one. Um, main night fans will always want to know Paul Scholes. What was Paul Scholes Bad like? Man. I love Scholesy. The best. I love the they best. They say he's the best English midfielder. That's what Man United fans You, you, you know what I always say when people say that? When you've got men like Xavi, Iniesta, Zidane, Thierry, all the man turn around and say, best player, best English player, yeah. Paul Scholes. Not Gerard. What is it about him though? What is it like? His passing ability, what is it? I mean, we're talking like ballers of the highest level. I mean, Zidane and all them man, Xavi, Iniesta, Paul Scholes. Mm. So as they, what they see in a midfield player, yeah, when the man could come out and say, yeah. He's the one. Paul Scholes. If Zidane says Paul Scholes. <laughs> but what's you, it, what, you you can't he wasn't flurry though. What you see the way Scholes like? treats his son? So do you have to be, no, 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 do you have to be flurry to be a good player? No, no, but I'm yeah, for me, yeah. Like for you? For me, yeah. No. Nah. Flair is everything no, for me. Like don't mind him though, don't mind him. Don't mind him. So what was his thing though? Like, cause obviously I didn't watch Paul Scholes like. Was he flurry? Yeah, he is, because in tight space, if it's Flary, for me, he's if you're Flary, working, if you're working player. it. In Javi's not a Flary player. In the Esther, Flary. No, no, tight. I'm saying like, in them tight spaces, that man come tidy. out and it looks nice. Like, they're not ricocheting out of there. Like, so that's what I'm saying. Nicely. So, Xavi, in the Esther, they Flary players? I would say yeah. they're Flary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I would say that. Yeah. I would say in that's Flary. What, you don't think they're Flary? In the Esther is. In what way are they Flary? What way are they Flary? The way they play on, on the ball, that's Flair. Right. The way they there turn and change direction. There and, you go. Yeah. Paul Scholes, when he plays football, yeah, changes direction, pings one, rolls it round the corner, gets but it, it doesn't back, look like them though. Someone. It doesn't look like them. There you go. So it's perceptions. It's what easy on your eye. Yeah, you just fancy I mean, guys, it's, it's like looking at a chicken saying, bro, my girl's a fierce bum. Yeah, she's got yeah? no bum, she's buff. That, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but, but here you go, bro. That that's your that's your perception. Facts. I'm saying you might look at it and say, yeah, she's fit as I might say, bro, she's dead. Alright, so thank you, Andy Cole, Cole, for ending this stupid perception. <laughs> that these guys been banging on about. I'm gonna ask you, I'm gonna ask you this though. Okay, so you say perception. Alright, so Xavi skulls. Who are you picking? I'm playing both of them, bro. No, you can't do this. See, Andy, you give me the argument, bro. bro. You said perception. You can't play. Okay, I'm you got playing, pick, you got I'm pick one. Two midfield players, bro. But you got to pick one. Who do, you prefer, who do you prefer out of both of them? I love both of them. I love them. No, I'm not going to lie. I love both of them, yeah? Well, it's a one, because, a one because technically, yeah, when they're on the ball, yeah, you know a man can juke a ball into a man and get it back and he'll do something mad with it. You turn and say, bro. I see Paul Scholes do, do things in training. I say, turn and say, oh, that's sick, you know? Yeah? And a man would just shrug his shoulders into say, it ain't nothing to me, you know? All right, just a couple more players. Specs your stupid flair Flair, argument. You ain't got Flair T. He's he's, he's one of the worst players ever. (laughs) The way he turns. Specs plays in an over 40 league. Um, (laughs) Varon. Yeah, baller. Yeah. Baller. What what, what, what went wrong? I I don't know. I don't know. I I really don't know. Did you know he had hair as well? And that he was bald by choice? (laughs) <laughs> Why are you laughing? You point at you. <laughs> You're not to laugh. Let me tell you something. Yeah, I I love that brother. Really? I love when when he came to Man United. Yeah, I was like, raw. And I, I've never seen a man do some of the wickedest makes on people. Yeah, he make man want to walk in. He will. I, I love him. I still stay in contact with him now. Really? And IG and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's class. Yeah, but one I love him. The little witch. Yeah, I love him. <laughs> Proper player. Jordi Cruyff. You're the nice guy, real nice guy. Oh no. He's not boy though. You know what? I, I, I think I, I think the once, nice guy. once That's good you in it. Good you. Once you have yeah, a father of that status, yeah. Pressure. Beer. Beer pressure. So for I don't know if people looking at him to be as good as his dad, it don't happen. It don't happen. Yordi was a good player. And a real good player, yeah. He did well uh, he went Alaves, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. real good player, Yordi. I mean, but what and, and I mean good player. But when you come away from football, a real nice guy. And I mean, a footballing guy. He has, he, he's heads it up at Barcelona now. So he's kind of like the director of football yeah, at yeah, Barcelona. Yeah, he's in charge over there, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so yeah, yeah. real cool guy, Yodi. Um, I'm, I'm done. Yeah, before, be, before you go, Andy, just for me, Hulk Hogan was the overrated. 
I don't watch them things. <laughs> <laughs> Andy Cole. Specs man's a big man, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I tell Poet all the time. <laughs> I mean. That's a big man, forget oh, that. Oh, that's a classic, <laughs> filthy5.com. Thank you so much, Andy Cole. Nice Bowser one, iconic. thank you, man. Hall of Famer. I'm gonna score six goals this weekend, blood, I swear to you. You better I'm not miss one. <laughs>